I'm really did liking you this. Cry other... when his string snapped. Oh my god! <laughs> like I swear, my breath just like caught. I was like, oh my god, no, this can't happen at... to him. Why him? She oh started asking god. questions like I knew what happened in that situation. <laughs> He's he's yeah. fine, right? Yeah, she's she basically tried to go like, against the like, grain. Yeah, she's like, what happens now? Like, like, does he just continue playing? Like, does he get to stop and put it? I was like, I don't he know. He falls into Damn. deep depression and he never gets out of it. Yeah, he gets out of yeah. Time yeah. Off. I just wasn't. This sure becomes Paji's story now. Shall we send tournament? <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast, Week 9 in the Spring 2021 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello! Next up, we have Ku. Yo, yo! Next up, we have Taylor. Hello! And finally, we have Justin. Hey, guys! Alright, um, so no anime news again this week. I just want to reiterate that uh, next season, we're going to change formats, so... Instead of doing a weekly discussion like we've been doing before, we are switched to just having one show per episode. So, uh, first episode of summer is probably gonna be a preview episode. Just uh, give our opinions what we are interested in the summer season, and then after that, we're gonna start focus on one show. I'll probably start with the spring season shows. So something like To Your Attorney or Tokyo Revengers or VV. We'll we'll have an entire episode dedicated to one of those shows, and then go on from there. So, just heads up, that's the format we're changing. I'll just be reiterating this till uh, end of end of the season. So we'll we'll still do this weeklies for for rest of the season. Just finish it out. So so that's it from that. Uh, let's move on to our, our main shows. Let's talk about our first show, uh, Megalobox. Dude, Megalobox keeps uh, it, I, I think it just keeps getting better. Definitely uh, raising the bar for sure. Um, I'm definitely becoming more and more of a fan of this season than you know season one. I think season one did a really good job of putting down the foundation of all these characters that we've come to know and everything. And now season two really amplifies, you know, the emotions and the kind of impact that you have for all these characters coming to, you know, kind of their own um, kind of pinnacles or conclusions with where the season's been going. So I totally agree with you, Stratton. I've been loving it. The, the, the music is so good too. <laughs> uh, the music, at least like that kicked up, like when, uh, when basically like when Joe walked in the, into that, I don't even know what the name of the ring or the like the location. Yeah, like the yeah. underground bar place yeah. where they do yeah, like, basically, all the yeah. fights. Yeah, when that all kicked in, I was just like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> like it's it's, it's interesting too because like ever since he's been back to this hometown, it's it's been bringing back a lot of season one contracts. So it's like so the first half it was like all new when he was a nomad, but now it's like it's a lot of the throwbacks to season one. So I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Damn, I don't remember that song at all from season one though. <laughs> I don't know what this song season one, but like in general, like a lot of that songs from season one are, are, are coming back. So. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the, um, how was it? Like, uh, th I think this is like the, uh, oh, uh, what did you guys think of like the, uh, like the ending with um, Joe having like that, uh, that, I guess it's that freak, the, I don't know. I don't it's know, it's withdrawal freak from his, his drugs. Yeah. Okay. So you guys think it's the drugs? I think, I think so. I don't yeah, I mean, that would be the only explanation. I mean, really. it's not like, like he got tired from he... fighting Sachio. Yeah. It's right. It's not like he's had any, like, prior injuries that have been made, like, apparent, so. Well, I Obviously, thought maybe. Some, something got kind of triggered. Well, I remember, like, uh, I, I actually looked to uh, Reddit on this one, where just okay. to basically see people's Ooh. kind of opinions. And I think, okay. like, the, was it the throwback or, like, where, whatever the show was uh, originally? Uh, Ashta no Joe. Yeah, I think people were saying like something happened in that one where I don't know if uh, it's, you know people were thinking it was maybe like head injuries. They also thought it was really it was a really weird time to basically just have drug withdrawals because you know we we kind of already passed that it's been, point. It's been a yeah. long time. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking too. Like it is yeah, weird. So be, that's the thing. Yeah, so it'd be really awkward to just all of a sudden just bring that up now. And then I mean, after like not having I don't know how many I, episodes with nothing of that happening. Like I don't even know why they have to bring it up because like we, the Joe's already gonna be at disadvantage with the Mac time. So I don't know why you yep. had to put another handicap on him. Like this is he's yeah. already handicap enough. So like Honestly, it does feel a little forced in some regards. Like I'm not saying that like I hate it, but it almost is kind of like, okay, we've already been through, you know, like him getting past withdrawals and like all these other things and, yeah. and worried and all that, but it's like I don't know. I felt like even without it it would have just been completely fine. Yeah. This is more so now like another hurdle to overcome. So right. we'll yeah, see how they kind it. of explain it. 
yeah, people said it, like, they were saying like that, but they also thought it was maybe like people were also bringing up the thing where possible PS- PTSD from when you know when Sachi was like walking away, but that would also I really? don't know, just I don't know. Yeah, that, that, I think that one's a long yeah. shot. I, feel like I mean, PTSD... honestly, like, oh, go ahead, David. I was gonna say I feel like the PTSD would be more from more from the coach dying than anything Sachi did. So I don't yeah. know. If I really buy that well, theory. Well, I think like the flashbacks back and forth, though. I think that was kind of like a like resolve. In his, uh, like, you know, through the flashbacks in his mind, basically, with the coach, just kind of like with the understanding of there. Uh, but I, I think it was more like just that they were, they were talking about when Sachi was walking away. Um, that, that could be, that could have brought something up. But, I, but yeah. sorry, Justin, what were you going to say? No, um, I agree with that. I, I was just kind of in the mindset of like, I don't know. I feel like the whole like resolution with Sachi was really dragged out. Really? Like, you think so? Basically, when you break it down, it's just like, you know, he came into the ring and just beat the shit out of him. Yep. Just to Which show him, like, I hey, enjoy, you know, man. we're going we're gonna to do it. No, it was a good beatdown. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it's almost just like, you know, you have all this pent up aggression that's been year for years. And at the end of the day, it was something as simple as just like, you know, I'm someone who's not going to change. And Sakio hmm. realized, you know, what Joe is at the end of the day and how that kind of is a pillar of, you know, their their group, the, you know, Team Nowhere. But I just thought it was funny, you know, how we had Sachio this whole time going through his own, like, teenage rebellion. And literally all it takes is Joe just, like, you know, hey, beating him up. And it's like, I hey, mean, we're good now, you know, be my coach kids, again. Kids got to learn. <laughs> and he learned the hard right. way. <laughs> well, it, was like, it was like any other show. You would, like, yeah, drag it on, like, the other teenage leads. But, hey, he learned the hard way. So. Well, mm-hmm. the nice thing with this, too, is, like, it almost, like, because they were showing, like, flashbacks kind of, like, back and forth. Like, in a sense, they were talking back and forth when really they were just fighting. Like, you know, kind of like almost like the messaging where like it was getting through with the fists or something like that. Yeah. Well, like, and they were, again, they were just kind of explaining the story through that. It's like Sachio again, he knew like it wasn't Joe's fault. He knew like he was partly to blame too. And like he yeah. still dragged it out because of what, like some pride or like. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know, like because the show keeps, a making, kid, man. He, the show keeps making think of like a lot of it was like Joe's fault for saying he, he left and banned them. But like, I don't know. I just I can't. I feel like I blame Joe for leaving. And like I can't blame him for for the stuff that had to, that happened while I was gone too, but like the show we got, re- we got resolution for that though too. I guess but like the show keeps like trying like to put blame on him for that. And I just, just I can't really see it that way. So right, mm-hmm. right. Um, I guess the the one thing that, that this episode I guess that did better, but like before was I didn't never really cared about Mac. Like just it almost feel felt like the like the fight that you know that was coming up with the, you know, them them and Matt or uh, sorry Joe and Mac. It was just like okay, great, but we we really didn't kind of like know anything with Mac. Where I think we talked about previously, where with Yuri we had like all that build up, and now it just kind of feels like you know this guy just wants to like play Joe. <laughs> I mean, I definitely appreciated uh, Joe's kind of explanation of why he wants to fight Mac, other oh, than yeah. you know Mac calling him out more so in the sense of Mac reminding him of uh, Chief from earlier this season and i'm kind of having a lot of similar tendencies and mm-hmm. you know of course the boy has the um hummingbird you know children's book that which he, that again you should not be reading your children's with. book yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely the a darker theme in that instance um but i really enjoyed seeing more of the scenes uh with joe and pops where you know you really oh, got yeah. to see pops basically you know a skeleton yeah. at the end of his days and kind of the emotional impact that that had there where you know you're getting that true resolution of you know it never was for joe to get this money for pops it was just that you know that's been joe and pops relationship this entire time is them against the world and and fighting for you know a purpose and knowing that you know money's not their main drive regardless of what the use is so i found myself more resonating with that emotionally i guess Mm -hmm. than you know the whole resolution between um joe and and satio um, yeah. But I'm, I'm definitely interested to see how the uh, team up with uh, Joe and Yuri goes where, you know, yeah. Yuri was just like, yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to yeah. help you in any ways. And then you have, um, you know, Lou being like, nah, man, you're going to help him. And you go like, he was doing the it's same like thing. all right. <laughs> I was saying, there's like, there's like the comparison too of like Lou and, and, uh, and Yuri was like how, like he was telling Yuri, like, yeah, you, like, you can't blame yourself because I chose you. So it's kind of like okay. the same, similar, like, I guess like, like Joe and like Sachio. So. So they kind of had those two as a comparison, right? And uh, back to you, like the the point, Justin, with uh, and then when we had like that the, the flashback with Joe and Pops, um, we also got like the the resolve that Joe didn't run away. Uh, we because it you know at first like you know the, where we saw Sachi's point of view where he was never there, but you know even like till you know like the day up to uh like the, or the day before you know Pops died, 
was Joe was there. Joe was talking to he was talking to Pops, and and then where because I I, I I only bring that up because I know like episodes before I think we had like the conversation where you know basically with you know Pops just dying like that he just didn't want to be around to basically just be there. But we got it. But we got the whole idea where Joe was actually there, didn't run away, but he just you know had his own way of doing it. Yeah, for sure. I think I'm good. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, yeah, I, I think I'm good as well. The I was just gonna call it the only other thing we saw from this week's episode was more of um, Yahiko and and the brother. You know, at the university, when the one like assistant went oh, and yeah. basically told them again, like, "Hey, you know, pull oh, your right. hypothesis, or else we're gonna pull the funding." And then, of course, you know, he happened to be the professor for the girl <laughs> in that relation. So of course, of course. I feel like th- they're just using that for a lot of padding. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I can't the only thing I want, for it, but I don't know. The only thing I want to bring up, um, yeah. actually, I remember there was an interview on MAZ Network with uh, the director and two of the screenwriters. So a lot of mm. interesting things from that. Um, how like All a right. couple of the screenwriters, like they actually live in neighborhoods in Japan with with, with immigrants. So so they understand. So that's why like, it feels uh, so genuine because actually have an, an an understanding of like the real life situation. Apparently, oh, like nice. um like one of the screenwriters he lives like in Saitama, and like his neighborhood is like known as like like the biggest population for for the Kurds. So like he has like so he definitely understands that. And then also the um more of the his thought process too and on why make a sequel and why like why they changed the things they did. So interesting oh, reading. Damn. I'll have to check people. that out, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Well yep. I think yeah, that's, that's obviously I... a testament to why this show is so great. You have people yeah. that are, you know, living this oh, or have experienced it firsthand. That's why yeah. this season feels better than the first. <laughs> yeah, and also uh, I think uh, director too. I think he was he did a lot of like, the episode directing for the uh, earlier season of AOT Attack on Titan. So. Oh, okay. Right on. But I, well, one more thing, real quick. I think the weakest part by far is just like the like the where like they have like the like the the tech groups in the background. Uh, I think that's just the weakest part to this show. Uh, yeah, right. there's always got to be some corrupt, you know, tech stuff going. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, big you business. <laughs> yeah, it, it can't be just like a you know a comeback story to Joe. There's got to be some sort of evil tech company in the background. So yeah. I, that that it's kind of that 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 I feel like if there's a weak point, it's definitely that part. I just I just found it sure. funny that like this is supposed to be a dystopian future, but yet like newspapers are still very relevant. Like just right. like yeah, it's just like Japan. Like it's like the last country where newspapers are still widely read. <laughs> then so. I also remember Reddit was basically saying too about how like. uh we're, I don't know how far in the future, but like yet, yeah, like the, the healthcare and like basically like the medicine and shit is still sucks. Everything's just shit. Yeah, yeah but so it just blows. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> yeah, I think I'm good. So, yeah, I'm loving this as well. Cool. Yeah, I think it's like still my favorite show season. So it's been solid. Only three episodes left. I mean, it's I think it's gonna hopefully. Oh, it's only three. Finish yeah. strong. Yeah, right. only three. Well, so, cool. that'll be it for Mega Box. Let's move on to our next show. Let's talk a little bit about Nagatoro San. Oh, baby. Cool. Let's yeah. talk you've about been, this you've, show. You've been absent, so I want to hear your thoughts on the previous three episodes. Every episode just gets better and better. I mean, oh. it went from a show that I was just kind of hoping to meme on, in a sense, just because of the thumbnail and the, the premise meme, of the show. It's a meme show, that's why. Yeah, it's a meme show, you know? The meme show but then, the season. But I'm just slowly falling for this couple more and more. Um... Although the weirdest part is, I I keep forgetting the MC's name just because they never mention it. They no, keep calling him Senpai. They never, they never, they never mention his it. name ever, so that's nope. why we don't yeah. know his name. He's so, always just Senpai. It, it makes you wonder, right? Maybe he has his blank doll look, and his name is generic because they want the guys to kind of incorporate themselves into this character, right? Just. <sighs> Have this person you know portrayed as them, I, right? I hate, That's I hate usually self, how it is. I hate self insert <laughs> so I hate it when authors do that. So yeah, yeah, I I get it. It's not for everyone, but I can appreciate that, especially with the uh, the artist's background. I I can totally appreciate that. Oh yes. god. Yeah. Okay, I yes. didn't know that about his background. Oh. Yeah, yeah, uh, lots of similarities. <clears throat> not that I would oh, know, okay. but uh, <laughs> okay. Well, definitely do notice it. For me, I, I think the peak was the seventh episode, and now it's just kind of going back to like what it's what the show is basically known for: her just teasing him, uh, her you know doing things that ba- that backfire, um, mm-hmm. and it, it's I mean, it's it's not bad. It's just you know just like that generic kind of a uh, kind of like you know ridiculous comedy. I don't even really want to call it edgy. It's really not that edgy. 
Mm, yeah, it's it's, it's kind of whatever, no. pretty mild. But I, yeah. but I feel like the the relationship is definitely developing. I don't know if I'm the only one that's getting that vibe. No, it is developing. I went and after like episode seven, I went and read the entire everything that's out in the manga. So Ruiner. <laughs> Ruiner. Like, like, how many <laughs> chapters is there? Is it like really long? Uh, and that was like ninety something. Oh okay. my god! <laughs> or maybe Goodness. no, I might be getting mm. it confused. It might be forty. I can't remember. I went through it in a day though. <laughs> I think it's more. Than 40. I, heard, I heard that the manga is even more spicier than the anime. So. I'm sure it's more than forty. I think it's been going longer than that. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Forty almost sounds like it's too little, but also, but the ninety sounds, um, almost. But actually, ninety sounds maybe right. I don't know. I'm in the middle of reading like four manga right now, so I forget how long each of them are. But it's hmm. long. It's it's short enough that you can. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's eight eighty four chapters. So okay, yeah. Okay. How's how's the, uh, the is art? It, is it finished? No. No. no? Oh, okay. I also asked, like, how's the art, the manga compared to the, the animation? Okay, they adapted pretty well. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I've, it, like, it's it's really easy to transition between the two. The artwork is really clean. Um, I, I like, I think there's a little bit more detail, especially for her in the anime. Of course, <laughs> but, mm -hmm. yeah, of course. Actually, <laughs> but, yeah, the, just, but the manga still looks really good. I, really, I just realized, mm -hmm. like, I think this list, like last this week, so last week, I didn't really see like standout animation, like the used to have like, I don't, like the festival was like really good but then like it doesn't really had much things going on so because i usually Eric, I man, like well it's like when they're yeah. it's just when they're outside like when they're always walking to, like to back home or whatever it's like there's always like a puddle reflection that looks really nice so mm -hmm. <laughs> we need more we need more rain on on the screen <laughs> and you got this guy looking at puddles do it like they put so much effort what? into like the background <laughs> like the, the animation in the background's really nice yeah mm -hmm. it, it is Definitely is. Or like a meme show. This is why it's just so weird to me. Like Hey. I, I feel yeah. like we're watching the shows for different reasons here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Usually this type I, of show. I uh, agree with who the most. Same. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Come to the dark side. <laughs> I feel exactly the same way about the show that Ku does, one hundred percent. As a right? as a long time member of a fan of these type of shows, yeah. You uh mm -hmm. I can uh I can agree with Ku. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I I like I said, to each their own, right? It's, it's, hey, it's, it's whatever. That's okay. So. I can respect it, David. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. anyway, anybody who's liking anybody who's liking it should read the manga. There'll be a little bit more development there. I mean, you know, a little bit of what you saw around episode seven. You see more of that throughout the throughout the manga. This, so this feels, just... this feels like a show that could get a second season, though. I was God, I hope so. But like <laughs> when I was reading the manga, it was just like I didn't finish it just because I just thought it was. Just, the same every week so i kind of how yeah. far did you get david i don't remember it was it was a long time ago I, it was like right when the it was first coming out and everyone was talking about it so oh so but, you didn't continue to commit so the anime is already further than what, what you read oh yeah okay gotcha. so, like, hmm, okay it was a while ago when i read it that's why i was surprised it's got an anime so right Okay. I'm really curious to see how you guys feel about it starting next week <laughs> oh, okay or i'm curious to see yeah. how your thoughts develop <laughs> Not mm. in a bad way. I didn't mean to make it sound mm. ominous. We have three <laughs> episodes may, may, left. May sound spicy, so I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if anything, like I said, I feel like they're they've gone past making uh, just like just throwing jabs at each other, and they're gonna focus more on the building of the relationship. Right? No more flirting. No more playing around. I think it's gonna slowly mm. start to work on the building of the relationship. Because even know. with this episode, you notice that. Um, Hopefully, I didn't mess it up. Uh, with this episode, I felt like when uh, Nagatoro was making that bet with um, with her group of friends, and then you know, it turns out the, the the MC did have like a like a dirty magazine like <laughs> in the back room. So yeah. the dude was like, "Damn, I don't want I don't want her to lose. Let me uh, let me go get it real quick and just slip it here so Nagatoro doesn't lose the bet." You know, like I thought that yeah. was pretty sweet. And I don't think the like the episode one or two MC would have done that for her, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, at at the festival as well, right? He never would have went out to the festival on his own, and uh, like hoped that his crush would have been there. But it turns out it worked out in some mysterious way, and uh, you know they did indeed meet at the festival, and their relationship did you know grow from that as well. So I just feel like this kind of show though uh they they basically go forever where like when when they actually become a couple like that's where the show ends that's uh, what i was thinking I don't know. when i was reading a manga that's why i didn't like mm -hmm. keep up with it so yeah which is too bad and i actually mm -hmm. i hope i'm wrong just because a lot of the because uh there's other um other ones that are other shows that i actually think 
they're they're still solid or if, if not better if like once they're actually a couple and just the kind of like ridiculousness and awkwardness happens, that happens. Though, so i'm not yeah I'm i know not... which i wish it which i did it more because it's actually like it's it can actually be hilarious and this type of yeah. show i think would mm. i think would actually be really good um i but i do think the side characters are weak i really don't care of any of her friends they're all just annoying and terrible oh yeah uh, for sure yeah they're, they're just bruners <laughs> They're but I did find a little bit. I, I well, I, I the 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 newest one that they kind of um, brought in was with the the chick that basically just like messed with all the the gamers. The nerds. Yeah, yeah, there the nerds in that in that corner. I thought that was kind of funny, and of course, you know, there would be a stalker. Then then the, there was like the thoughts of them them both stalking her. Okay. That, that was hilarious. <laughs> when when I heard the stalk like that, there was a stalker. Like I knew for sure it was the fat guy, and lo and behold, it was the fat guy all along. <laughs> oh god. Just making us look bad, damn it! Oh, yeah, but uh, honestly, I mean, I mean, it's, it's still like a good show. show. I, I still think that just the peak episode was the seventh. Yeah, but I feel like for this type of show to have it end on closure on them actually being in a relationship, oh, yeah. I think Absolutely that's not. fine. That's I think it's happen. fine <laughs> because you don't want to go past that point to where it runs stale and you run out of ideas, and then you're just awkwardly trying to create awkward but like hilarious situations for. Uh, for the couple, right? So sure, I, I think like, it's fine you, if they end. But it. at the same time, it's like it never happens. So I wish it just happened more often. So yeah. you'd think uh, it'd be awkward, too, but there's a, there's actually some uh, that that I've read that that pulled it off pretty well, that pulled it off really well. What I thought, and I actually yeah, thought I it was I thought it was more funny when they be, actually became a couple than mm-hmm. trying to lead up to that awkwardness and you know, first become or then you know leading up to becoming a couple. Mm. I think for me, oh. for this one, I agree with Ku on this too. For for this particular show, I'm okay yes. with them getting together at the very end, just because I feel like so much of their character character development like depends on their building relationship, and so I feel like right. they're true. obviously they'll still develop as people as they become adults and after they get into a relationship, if they get one into a relationship. Hope. Yes, but um, I just feel like the point of the show is on that development leading up to it, so I'm okay with it for this one. But there's others where, like you, you and David are totally right. Where like almost no romance anime that I've seen has them get together like at any like reasonable amount of time. It's normally right at the end, and it's like, oh my god, it's painful to even like read it or watch it as it's coming out because mm. it's such a slow burn. It just feels like, will it ever happen? That's that's called pulling a nisei koi. Ugh. But I got nothing else. Yeah, that's it for so, me. Yep. So that's uh, that's it for for Nagotaro. Move on to our next show. Uh, let's talk about Murari the Patriot. So, oh, it was a thing. You finally got Sherlock <laughs> for I guess one episode. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I don't have much to say. I I would say it was pretty mid in my opinion. Mm-hmm. It basically just served the purpose of getting Holmes group involved with Milverton and Moriarty. I could not really care much about you know <laughs> watson's fiance and the whole indian treasure that they're hunting down so <laughs> yeah yeah I-, I was browsing the internet while watching this episode i couldn't really bring myself to, to yeah, care too feels, much either it feels like they didn't really need a whole episode just for this so right yep and i think like yeah and, and like actually no i was just like yeah the indian treasure didn't really matter too much it's just because of milverton so I don't know. Exactly. But next week looks good. Finally, we have, you know, Holmes and Moriarty yeah, coming th- face to face again. I, I, I thought after the, the London, like the, the, the Whiteley arc, I thought like it's like lead up to like a more exciting final arc. I guess it could still lead to a more exciting final arc, which is like this episode just feels like so, yeah, like, like, like dragged on. Like it didn't have to be a full episode. It felt like a very meat and potatoes episode in the final like right right before the end of the sh- like end of the show it, it, it was completely unnecessary like this plot just didn't have to happen if if the purpose was just to get sherlock back in there could have been an easier more succinct way to make that yeah. happen yeah. right um i thought it was just funny too that like sherlock knew immediately that it was milverton when you yeah. like, we have you know no explanation as oh, a yeah. viewer of like how much status milverton really had like you know yeah. We know he's part of like the the Lord's house and everything, so I guess you know that's something that we could go off of. But it is just funny that you know we get this whole episode, and at the end, Sherlock's just like, "Oh, okay, it has to be the Lord of Blackmail that could only do this." Charles Milverton. It's like, okay, cool. Like you brought everybody together now. That's great. <laughs> so, yep. definitely, definitely a weaker week for sure. Yeah, I don't. I'm kind of. It kind of makes me worry about the finale. Like, hopefully they can pull it off, but. 
Yeah, right? If they, you know, did something like this, then it very well could be a, a final season where they're just bringing these three together to just have some grand like Because, like, cause using, like, like three episodes for a finale, it's like, I don't know how well that's going to be. I wish it could have been, like, like a six-episode arc or something. That would have been epic, but... Yeah. I agree. But no, other than that, I think, you know, Taylor hit the nail on the head where it's just, like, wasn't really an episode worth paying your full undivided attention for not a whole lot happening other than just bringing the characters together for the the final plot <laughs> yeah i'm sorry guys I've, I've just kind of mentally checked out from this one like honestly if i could go back to like myself who i was when i first started the show i'd probably be like eh, you could skip this one just download the, the opening and some endings and you're good to go <laughs> that's the I best think that's part fair. <laughs> i'm still enjoying it but like i wasn't it's not as hyped as i i first thought so We'll see how it goes in the end. I'm hoping it'll right. pick up. Still got a few more episodes, so yeah, we shall see. We will see. So I think we're just gonna end it there for Marty for this week. Hopefully, you have more exciting discussion next week. So let's move on to our next show. Uh, let's talk about Hige Hero. Who are your thoughts the last few weeks? Uh, man, I just want to say Moriarty sounds so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a what yeah, was? good, good season potential one, pacing was good. And season one was hyped, just, and then it just like yeah, I think it just oh, lost god. its way. Oh god, oh why why are we doing this to ourselves? Why are we here? You know, just to suffer, I suppose. All right, but, uh, yeah, some big just, phantom pain almost syndrome over. going on. <laughs> this season's over. almost over, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, Hika Hero. Uh, I mean, it's uh, you know, it 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 took a twist that I did not expect. Which one? Uh, with the brother being so nice. Oh yeah, same. Because I think I missed what the last three episodes with you guys. Mm-hmm. Probably. And mm-hmm. then, like you know, we we can kind of call it from a mile away, right? Like, you know, her friend committed suicide. Apparently, she was ostracized. And then, you know, like I guess her mom was, like, I didn't see that coming. But the mom blamed her. Well, why she's causing so much trouble for the family? And then it turns out the brother is super nice, and it looks like he's a political figure as well. And um, I think yeah, he's he's totally beautiful. cool. As, I think it's just I, don't, I, I, I think it's just, there, it's there's the uh, the CEO or the, the CEOs like the founding family of a huge company because oh, his yeah. business card had it was like the Onigawa Corporation. So uh, it's, it's I, I feel like company. he's a man. He's a man of power for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, their family has definitely has status. Yeah. So right, uh, and like just, I guess the reason why I went towards the political route is because why would. I guess if they're the head of a corporation, it makes sense. But why would so many like news media be so curious about like their daughter the and yeah, the yeah, scandal, the scandal right? or a, so. yeah, for a company? So I get that part. Mm. I think for me, it's like yeah. I, I thought for some reason I, I remember like, like Sayu saying earlier how like she like didn't have any troubles with her parents. So I think that's what baited me. I didn't expect the thing with the mom went through. I thought uh-huh. so. Like I guess I, I was too trusting of Sayu. I didn't. So now, so this episode, like yeah, I was I was totally baited. With like the, yeah. with the how the mom reacted. Well, I think of the fact too of like how much she built up her bigger brother and like kind of a, a fear when you know he first kind of showed up to the convenience yeah, store and everything. That, that was definitely a misdirection of sorts as oh, well. Oh yeah, he was like the only one that's that was like really supporting her to like run away. Mm-hmm. But I love and hate how he did it though. He didn't like watch over her. He literally just gave a kid a bunch of money, told her to <laughs> yep. do whatever she wants with no supervision, and said, yeah, I'll see you in two weeks, kid. Uh, be Wait. safe. Yeah, he basically said, you know, just be like, be smart, be safe, like, you know, stay at the good places. Yeah. <laughs> typical typical rich family things. Yeah. It's like, you yeah. know, oh, here's some money. Yeah. Solve your problems with money. Like, you're a good kid. And it's like, they don't take the time of day to really, mm-hmm. you know, get to the yeah. root of the issue. Um, Which I think, you know, oddly enough, was really well shown how, like, far Sayu had kind of fallen into this depression of that scene you know where she's in the room alone and Mm -hmm. you know kind of took it to the next level of showing her you know I guess masturbating and just having like this feeling of emptiness of like trying to find some form of happiness in her life and it's just like none of that shit did anything for her it really is kind of just dark Mm -hmm. you know kind of shows the the struggles that she's going through right but uh, I mean like this development in her character and social history this is what i wanted so for so long for the show so i'm glad i got it so i right i really like this episode because like i feel like this is like this is the core of the show it's like it's Sayu's development 
Um, and we had very little Yuzuha, so it, it's a to to thank the lords. That too. Yep. Yeah, I need Margoto. Bring me Margoto. <laughs> Because that woman is a fucking saint. I don't, I don't, maybe that's ah, too strong. I don't know about that, sir. Yeah, I don't think she's enough strong. to go there, but she's definitely, you know. No, no, no she's not going to use a hot. Use a use hot can oh, stay no, in no. the karaoke bar for the rest of the show, just, you know, feeling bad yeah. for herself, and I'd be okay with that. Um, yeah. But yeah, it'll definitely be interesting to see, you mm. know, where things kind of go next in terms of Sayu going back and kind of having this resolution, and then. Leading up to what I imagine is going to be, you know, Sayu and Yoshida potentially, you know, being a couple at the end of the day. Like it would, it would yeah, still really be nice to that. see. It would still be nice to see but some right. Yoshida backstory because we really still have not okay. seen like anything. Well, the ex-girlfriend like, like, got cut, so I don't yeah, know no, I got cut. Yeah. This, but at the same time, this this definitely feels like it's it's like the Sayu show. Like it's not really about Yoshida, I guess. Yeah. So uh-huh. I can see why they would cut it out from the anime. Uh-huh. Because it, it is like, Sayu, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just wondering, yeah, because it's five volumes, and so we already cut mm-hmm. the ex-girlfriend arc, so I don't know yeah. how just, they're going to adapt it. Like, because it's so hard fitting five volumes in, in 12 or 13 episodes, so. They're cutting a lot of stuff. Maybe we get an OVA. Hopefully. Or season two. Uh, I don't think it's another season two. I don't know. No, season two, guys. I need more go-to. Right. <laughs> okay. Sure. Just, just anime cool, original. cool. Create the content himself if it doesn't exist. I so will fund the company and myself, guys. The studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's called, yeah, it's called fan fiction. So go, go. Feel free, sir. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yes, fan fiction. They just need a, uh, that's what I wanted. a gacha app game like Fate Grand oh, Order. So, you know, there all you the go, whales yeah. can just fund the subsequent movies. Just, for, just, just spend it, all that money for Goto. Is that it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would, characters. right? I can't be the only guy that would do it, right? So, oh, definitely not. Yeah, yeah, but I got nothing else. Yeah, yeah, same. So, you guys don't have any predictions about what's going to happen next? I don't think I do. I mean, uh, like, the weeks will be, I think the weeks will be over, and then she's just got to go back home, and like, and I think I guess something like, I think her mom will still be mad and not let her leave, and then I guess Yoshio's gonna go try to find her, Hokkaido. I don't think I would... she's going to go back, though. I feel like she's going to use this time to strengthen for her resolve and stay, actually. Oh, okay. I, part, part of it, I actually agree with David, where she'll go back, she'll kind of talk, talk to her family, whatever it is. Uh, mm-hmm. I can even see Yoshida you know, showing up, basically kind of giving like, a conversation, talking to the parents and whatnot. And mm-hmm. then I can, see, uh, I can see her then going back. Um, but other than that, though, that's, that's about it. I mean, the me, sad, the sad thing really is, like how Justin mentioned earlier, they kind of they're kind of pushing Yoshida and Sayu together. It looks like with well, some of these uh, moments that they have, and I feel like at the end of the day, like towards the end of the season, they're gonna try to bring them together as a couple, mm. and then that's gonna strain her resolve to be like, no, I've seen the world, I've seen how mom is, and you know, like I know you care for me, but you know, like Yoshida was the only guy that was good there for me, and I feel like he's an important person in my life. And I want to stay here, you know. I, See, I, yeah. So I, I would think um, I wanted. I don't think they're gonna end up together just because it's only five volumes. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it was a long running show, like, let's say there was like time skips, time gaps, and stuff, I could see. I could see them going towards that route more. Mm-hmm. But honestly, I, I think I'm. I, I think, and at this point, I, I think it's just you know two kind of individuals who are broken in a sense, and then they mm-hmm. just you know helped each other get back into the back into the. I Real mean, life. can't really can't, can't really compare like a rejection to like what Sayu is going through. So, yeah, but but I uh, but Yoshi has helped her. Yeah, like a lot like, just to become I, you know there's actually you know what he said at the beginning where he says he's like uh, he's like I'm not nice. <laughs> Everybody else was just dread. Mm-hmm. Basically, that's all. Well, I mean, I hope I'm wrong, and then I hope she goes back, and then like Kim and Goto can get it on right, and then fuck Yuzuha. <laughs> um, but you know I, it's close, yeah. yeah, but I mean who knows? We'll, we'll see. It it's it's too close to the end to for any like crazy things to happen, I think. So Yeah. Unless Truck Coon appears, but hopefully not. <laughs> this doesn't seem like that type yeah. of show. No. You don't know, guys. I mean, <laughs> don't know. I, I, any show could devolve into that. <laughs> yeah. Some people just want spice in their life, okay? Give me some spice. There, there it is. That's what I want. But okay, I'm that's need, all I got. I might need you to stay out my my stories. <laughs> I like, sir. Get your inconsistencies out of here. Okay, all right, my bad. My bad for trying to make it interesting, you know. Yeah. 
So that's gonna be it for Higa Hero yep. for this week. Uh, let's move on to our next show. Uh, if you guys want to talk about I'm a Spider, so what? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I've been holding it down. So, Koo, the floor is yours, man. I am all ears now that you've, you know, had the time to catch up on the last few weeks. Dude, I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. Yeah. Because the teacher has such a convenient skill called class roster. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, she's able to foretell the future of her students, but she can't tell them what it is because of the, the limitations <laughs> of the skill. Of course, and, of course. Uh, they left at the worst part possible of last, not this week, but last week's episode, where you saw the army heading towards, uh, like, their, their town, where the, mm-hmm. the baby vampire chick was. And then when you thought that, I thought that there might have been some kind of conclusion to that with this week's episode, but they just cut to the, uh, to the uh, like, the war that they were having with the... Uh, with the elves and uh, Hugo's army. So, yep. um, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel, but it is interesting to see everyone together now. And I guess if you were to uh, put into actual work, I guess you can try You can try to piece out, like, who died and who might be, uh, like, the, the the special person that was in the world that the hero and the demon lord was targeting uh, during the explosion. Um but yeah, there's definitely a lot going on. But I feel like at this point, they're they're somewhat just rushing it with these convenient skills and um, just yeah. kind of like zipping through the story now. And I, I still like the show, but again, I I never thought I would say this, but I want to see what happens on Kumiko's side and what leads them to this point, right? Like I right. want to see the tie between the, the the past and the future, and I'm surprised that they haven't <laughs> done it yet. When last week's episode was called Class Reunion, and it was everyone but like but Kumiko, I Kumiko. guess so. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's funny. Exactly like you said, you know, earlier in the seasons, we're just like, oh, you know, they really focus a lot on Kumiko and not so much, you know, Shun in, in the human side. And then now we're, you know, flipping the script here later in the season of like, all right, all right, we've seen enough of Shun and his group. It's like, let's get back to Kumiko. So um, I'm not surprised. I, I think, you know, I very much agree with your thoughts of, you know, the last few weeks. Um, I definitely find myself finding it harder to care for more of the other reincarnated characters that they've recently introduced, um, especially uh-huh. in the last two weeks. Um, I guess the only, you know, piece of information that we did get solidified was that um, Sophia, the vampire chick, is uh, spooky from uh-huh. the, the reincarnated class. Um, but I think, you know, we had we had thought that uh, a few weeks ago when we had first kind of seen her come into the main play when she killed uh, Potimus, or Potimus's body double at the time or whatever (laughs) um but no i totally agree like the power of the class roster and everything is definitely a convenient you know ass pull and of course it has you know the the textbook limitation that you don't know exactly all the details that lead to you know the certain characters demises and everything Mm -hmm. um but yeah i totally agree with you i'm i'm ready for more kumiko again i'm ready for kumiko honestly to uh have more involvement with Ariel, the, you know, spider demon lord that we've really just kind of still not gotten much information about. Um, but yeah, I mm-hmm. mean, this last week's a fight, you know, between um, Hugo's army and um, the elves and everything, like, I didn't really have much attachment to it. And even from like a visual standpoint, it was pretty like mid <laughs> it looked like you know they were just really harnessing it on the cg and kind of repeated animations when a lot of the major battles were going down and then you know they had the um the class teacher in, in hugo's standoff where you know oh i thought you know okay this might be hugo's final moments but then of course that one chick who has like the destruction or death right. magic just comes in and and saves him there so we'll see um yeah. But yeah, I, I definitely agree. Like, you know, it, 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 it's kind of dragging in some instances when I felt like it was doing things right a few weeks mm-hmm. ago. The show kind of reminds me of uh, Fire Force, the first season, just because it's it's definitely got its highs and it's definitely got its lows. <laughs> and I really comparison. wish and I really wish it was just consistent. But um, I mean, I guess with 24 episodes, you can't really complain. There's going to be highs. There's going to be lows. Um but man, like I said, I just I can't believe I'm waiting for Kumiko to come back on screen. <laughs> but yeah, most definitely like what is going on with Ariel? You know, like I want to know her backstory yeah. for sure. And uh I guess with the 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 fourth one, the body double or the body mm-hmm. mind, uh like slowly eating away at Ariel, when she finally does come back to Kumiko, I'm assuming that's gonna be like a huge stat boost, right? Um 
Yeah. So that would explain it how Kumiko is able to survive for this long. And mm-hmm. if she does come back, uh, hopefully she'll be the, the the key factor to fighting against Ariel or Hugo or whoever is pulling the strings behind the army, I guess. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's, I can't wait for the end. I, I need to see how this finishes out. But uh, I'm getting a little worried. That's Yeah, that's, there's definitely that's a I'm lot doing. still, I feel like, to, to kind of tie up. And especially, and I think last week's when they had Kumiko talking to the administrator again and then even the teacher kind of talked further upon of like her knowledge of these administrators and uh-huh. you know we've only seen the one administrator who wears kind of like the demon souls-esque armor we haven't seen the other chick who talks through the cell phone every time that she's you know connected yeah. with kumiko yeah. so that's like a whole nother thing yeah so i mean i'm in full agreement with you man like trying to stay optimistic but can't help but feel worried with kind of the uh the pacing and focus that they've taken recently mm-hmm. so We'll see. Yeah. Here's hoping. We we've stuck in it for the the long haul, and let's hope we uh we get our just ends and they don't leave us hanging. Almost there, baby. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it for me. All right. So we're in it there for I'm Aspire. So what? Uh, move on to our next show. You want to talk about Burning Kavadi? Uh, yes. Uh, so how do you guys feel about the show now? I missed a lot. Uh. <laughs> Well, I think we talked about like the new the new characters that were implemented, like or uh, they were brought in. I guess uh, mm-hmm. I kind of like them, but at the same time, we know nothing about them really, besides that they joined Kabaddi. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was it. Um, but uh, let's see what else is there. The was it the current match? Uh, oh God, what the what the hell did he do? Um, Ooh. from what I remember about this episode, it was all about Sakura and like his backstory and like why he'd quit Kabaddi for a while, and that mm-hmm. was like the primary focus of this episode. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, forgot about that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I actually feel like it's kind of dropped down a bit. It's uh, it's weird. <laughs> um, I kind of feel I kind of feel like it's in a little just not like like it's not even bad. I but like it, it kind of reminds me of IQ how IQ would kind of go through some of the stuff. It would kind of ebb mm-hmm. and flow like. And, like, that was fine, you know what I mean? It's not that it's bad. It's still just, like, showing a little bit more of the character. It's still showing a little bit more of the game. If it was, like, long-running, then I think that... If this were going to be long-running, then I think this pacing and how it feels right now is totally fine, you know? Uh-huh. I actually miss, like, the character interactions um, more than, like, the actual game. Well, well I don't know, because I feel like we we just about know, like, all the rules now to this game. I think. Now it's more just, like, a... We got those like superpower abilities, like the MC has, where it, it shows like him just like blazing, uh, in between like the, Dude, the team. Ojo is so cool, man! Oh my god, there's a reason why he's captain <laughs> at national level. That guy's too good. That guy's really good. A uh, literal glass cannon. He will injure himself to get those points. Yeah, I like how they, like they uh they first thought like oh like, we stopped them and then they kind of go into that logic about like why it, it appeared like they caught him but he. Mm-hmm. But they actually didn't catch him. I thought, like, okay, we're 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 reaching out a little bit, <laughs> well, like with this. Oh, that reminds me. There's actually more rules that we don't know about because even like uh, like Yo Yoshi in their school was unaware of the fact that if you have two or less, you can just call a a, a loan on yourself. Oh and right, right. Just yeah, bring people true. back. So there's definitely a lot more rules that we need to know about. But I, I feel like it's it's fine. Like we don't I need take to know back all what the I rules. Said. Yeah, right. I take back what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Although but, the only the only gripe I have with the show is the fact that the so called manager that I wanted was actually just another um, pretty boy in a sense. It was a trap. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if if I'm the one that uh, if it's just me, but I feel like the voice is is Akira from Kimono Jihen. I don't know if it's the same VA or not. Oh yeah, it could be. I could see that. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll check really quick. Now I'm curious. I didn't watch. I have no idea. And it bothers the shit out of me. <laughs> you want to know what bothers the shit out of me? Is that there's literally a character that is, like, pink-haired in this mm-hmm. show right now, but there's another character named Sakura. <laughs> like, it, I like in my head, I cannot, like, separate those into two separate characters. And so whenever they mention Sakura, Sakura this, Sakura that, uh-huh. I'm like, what about this pink-haired person? <laughs> That's not yeah. what's... I, I did think of, I did I think I did think of Sakura's backstory was first like oh like we th- we all, I think we all thought I think I even like said I was like oh well you know he goes in basically sees the grandma she's gonna she and then she's like, she's dead but it mm-hmm. ended up being worse because she uh, you just find out that she just uh, you know she just completely forgot who she who he was and I thought like oh damn that's that, that might be possibly even worse 
So, uh, yeah. yeah, the show's got it all, man. The action, the feels, yeah. the, the trap. Oh God, the badass <laughs> characters. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 um, the episode you missed, who actually, um, where we talked about like a little bit of those like, the two defensive players, mm-hmm. where it's like we didn't really think about them, but I actually like their backstory. Dude, yeah, I gotta say, like, uh, Misumi was it? Like the not not the guy with the not not the buff guy, but the other like stronger guy, the pretty looking the guy, dude. Yeah, the pretty looking dude. Dude, his yeah. mom was pretty hot. I'm not gonna lie. That was I, mean, I was very surprised. That seems to be a surprise, dude. <laughs> Every anime we watch, man, the the moms are on top. Uh, I mean, she was a she was a, a notch above the rest, you know. Like, oh, just, okay. Yeah. She was uh, on, just, a scale, on a scale of zero to Masha no Oto. Where where is she at? Oh, close, close, close. Oh, damn. Just just a <laughs> step Wait, before. What about the what about the mom from um Skate? I thought she was absolutely. Oh top God, here. yes. There, I mean, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's many. Yeah, you are right. I don't know. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. Anime, like they, they get it right. <laughs> they, do. They, get, they get it right. Oh man, this is okay, why well, I don't watch normal TV shows. You know. Well, we're already right. on a tangent. Just to answer your your thought, Ku, um, the voice actor for the pink haired character is actually Ayumu Murase, which is um, Hinata from Haikyu. Oh wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what about what about Akira from Kimono Jian? It's somebody else. <laughs> is it? Okay. Yeah, hmm. Somebody else. But anyway. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, like, I, like, it's like, this arc is fine, but I've liked, uh, I, I felt like the show was stronger previously. Because hmm. um, I think it's a big part of it because they have this match against Sakura. Like, we find out he's like a big deal with uh, the captain of the team. But I still just don't really care that much. Hmm. Okay. Make it sound bad, but I don't know. I, I, I still like think it. the show is solid. Yeah, the show's still solid. Mm-hmm. I, I just felt like it kind of dropped down a little, a little bit, mm-hmm. but we'll see if it bounces back for the second half of this game. I like this because it gives me a reason to care about the teams. You know what I mean? I don't want to just yeah. care about like the, the main team. I want to care about other people. I want to see how they develop. So I personally kind of yeah. like it, even though like it's slower paced, even though it's not like, can't wait to watch this episode. Oh my God, it's going to be hype, even though that feeling isn't there. I actually like the backstory more of not not Sakura, but his friend. Uh, I thought his stuff was actually pretty good. Um, oh, okay. Where, where you just find out where who basically where he was like it, it, where Sakura was the one that told him that he wasn't going to come back, and mm-hmm. then he just wanted to basically just practice and become, I mean, better all around in the game. Mm-hmm. He's the, he's a tact he's a tactical guy of the team, but anyway, I think I'm good. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, that's all kind right. of all over the place, but. <laughs> all right, so we're ending it there for Burning Kabaddi. Then move on to our next show. Well, my show no Oto. Speaking oh, of God. moms, <laughs> this was the one show I couldn't wait to come back and watch, <laughs> and my God, it was worth it. Watching <laughs> these three episodes, I was talking to Stuart while I was watching it, and I just couldn't contain myself. It was it was so good to to hear and to see. Like just everything, like spectacular about this show, especially Umiko. Mm. I was a little bit disappointed though of your your opinion on my song. But... Well, we get it on my mind. I mean, I thought she was. I thought she did great, but um, I, I, like again, I had this like not going to try to be like obnoxious or like kind of a snob about like. Like oh like I know everything I need to know about uh, like <laughs> these instruments and stuff like that like I'm an expert now. An expert now. <laughs> right. But no, I kind of felt the same way that her brother did. Like you know, it was nice at first, but I felt like she tried too hard, and it just kind of ruined the the flow or like the the, the her sound in a sense. The you traditional know? sound of the the instrument. No, not even traditional. Just the fact that it just it felt like oh. she was trying too hard, and it kind of like she kind of was like off note in a sense. Where it, it didn't like flow right. It just it just sounded weird. Like to me, I don't know. Um, it could be because because yeah. in, in the newest episode, he did make a comment too on uh on um that one dude's song where he basically is like, Fuck it, man, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna beat me. And he just basically <laughs> played and then he even made a comment like where I think he even like he thought it was good. Uh and then you have like the, that glasses guy that just kind of showed up, started clapping for him too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What did, you think of, uh, what did you think of what did you think of Kajikun? Cool. Do you like him? You know, he's he's okay. 
He's okay. He's kind of weird. He kind of reminds me like weird. He's basic. <laughs> he's basic. He's he kind of weird. Absolute, he is my favorite character. I like him the most. Oh my god! Really? Yeah, I think so. Did I'm you, really did liking you this. Cry other... when his string snapped. Oh my god! <laughs> like I swear, my breath just like caught. I was like, oh my god, no, this can't she happen to him. Why him? She started oh asking god. questions like I knew what happened in that situation. <laughs> He's he's, yeah. he's fine, right? She's she basically to go she's against like, the grain. Yeah, she's just like, what happens now? Like, like, does he discontinue playing? Like, does he get to stop and put it? I was like, I don't know. He falls into Damn. deep depression and he never gets out of it. Yeah, he gets out of yeah. the time yeah. I just wasn't. This sure becomes Kaji's story now. Show me some tournaments. Yeah, this is Kaji's story now, where we where we basically follow him and then we basically follow his deep deep yeah. depression. Dude, they're setting up to be like this amazing like like underdog, right? And then. They have like these small backstories, like yeah, he's good in the group, but like he doesn't have his own sound, yeah. so he's definitely like not that good by itself. And then like, wouldn't you know, his string snaps during his uh, solo performance. I'm just like, oh my god, it happens to the nicest kid too. Well, it's, yeah, I think it's so fucked. I I actually like that though because he was playing a style he wasn't used to. Mm-hmm. So I actually kind of like that. If if it was to happen to somebody, it would be him because he was going out of his comfort zone for the first exactly. time like, on the spot. So I thought that was really well done. If he basically just you know went out of his comfort spot and just fucking killed it, I'd be like, come on. <laughs> it, 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 it takes real. some practice. That's not realistic. Yeah, it takes some practice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but Justin, your thoughts? Um, mm. I, you know, I've been loving the show as well, and I think as a lot of us said, you know, we we definitely owe a, a, an apology of sorts to Koo <laughs> for our doubts <laughs> in the beginning because this show yeah. is really. <laughs> Taking us all by storm. Um, no, this ep- this week's episode was great. I loved every you know single performance that we got to see, and you know as of usual, we continue to get blue balled over and over as we're coming to you know um, the two rivals having having their moment from from their hometown. Um, mm-hmm. But I was definitely caught off guard with the reveal of you know the father. Um, I definitely did not see that coming and that, you know, kind of throws its own interesting dynamic into, um, you know, the mom and kind of why they really want to uh, have their respective sons win in this fight. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm loving it. You know, I can't wait to see where things go next and kind of, you know, continuing to add to the great catalog of tracks that we've had over this season. So. I really I, liked that relationship between the two sons when you mention it. Did they, mm-hmm. Justin? It sounds like you got a good like understanding of everybody's relationships with each other. Do they know that they're but, brothers? I'm confused about who knows what about each other. They they think they're best <laughs> friends, or the one that one guy. I, well, the friend. one guy yeah. you know marks him as a best friend. I don't. Yeah. I was confused about that as well. Okay. Honestly, um, I feel like they I, they didn't know. I don't think yeah. so either. And so. I really I like their relationship with each other. I think that it's it was a lot almost something where it felt like the father them. figure was never really a part of oh, you no. know his no, life. No, no, no. So that's why he was living with the grandfather. And yeah. so I would think, kind of as Ku said, you know, then he wouldn't know about this other child that he that they had or the you know two children. Right. Um, it definitely throws in a weird dynamic now of you know my and all them where it's just like oh okay you're well, it's you okay know. they're they're adopted they're not like yeah right, oh, yeah, right? They're, they're, right? Safe. Yes. they're safe they're safe they're safe Japan always like those they, they always find like those the way twists. <laughs> yeah but uh no oh, I think God. if anything it it definitely gives a unique dynamic of of you know drama that will now unfold in this series so I'm all for it I love it. Dude, this episode definitely gave me like a soap opera feel, right? Just Dude, twists and turns this everywhere. Was just like a Taiwanese drama. That's what I said to Stratton when I was watching. It. I was like, this straight up is like family drama from a Taiwanese show. <laughs> oh god. And then like when, when, when it was revealed that uh that maybe Mai Mai and uh Setsu was related, and then like me and the uh the chick with the hair, uh the chick mm-hmm. with the glasses. She was like thinking mm-hmm. the same thing I was thinking, like, yeah. like, whoa! If they're <laughs> siblings, <laughs> they can't get married, right? Like, the ship can't happen. And <laughs> to make the lower for the curly-haired guy who gave no fucks and just spilled the family <laughs> secrets to everyone. Yeah. So, like, yeah. uh, apparently it was safe. But yeah, oh my god, it was so spicy. Such a I, spicy episode this week. I will oh, say, I will say the comedy was really good this episode. Like, I, I felt mm-hmm. like this is the only, like, this is really the only episode that I actually like genuinely laughed at, where I thought it was really, oh. it was actually really good. Um, th- th- also, like the same thing, I felt so, like I actually feel just bad and stupid for the previous guy where he was in the group setting, and I thought like, man, this guy's such a douche. Like the guy that was just doing like his own style, but in oh, his with solo, all the when... twangs and yeah, everything. yeah. But when we got the, like, yeah, but when we got the like the solo of him and basically kind of got like a little bit of his backstory, he was just gonna be him. I was like, damn, man, mad respect. 
And then mm-hmm. I, I just like how they always do like the flashes with his coach. He's like, all right, no twang. And he starts off. He starts off with the twang immediately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and then uh, then I rem- I I call the coach. I basically just kind of gauges like everybody's reaction. He's like, all right. He's like, you're this far, man. Just keep it up. <laughs> just keep mm-hmm. using the twang. And then he ends with the twang. I thought, all right, this is this guy's like one of my favorite characters now. Yeah. Like he didn't even give a fuck. He just wanted to basically just play <laughs> play his style. So I thought it was really good. He gives me big uh, Bokuto vibes from Haikyuu. Oh, you guys even know yeah. That, remember that character? Yeah. yeah. The one who's just like all about yeah. the spikes and like kind of, mm-hmm. you know, playing his way. And then yep. when things aren't his way, it's like, <laughs> no, that's blasphemous. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's but no, I, I love I love the diverse, you know, characters that we've starting to see, especially mm-hmm. with this tournament, because that was one of the things that I was admittedly worried about in the beginning yeah. of the series. Same. Yeah. But uh, all doubts have now been, you know, wiped clean. So I also I'm, noticed I'm so that guys, it's almost over. <laughs> almost done. I did notice I, I, in the in the crowd that guy with. Oh, sorry. Go, go ahead, Taylor. Oh no. I, I mean, I was just gonna say I am a little still confused. Like I remembered this episode. I was thinking back to episode one when huh? Yuna is like the first girl that you meet, and then she's just like, "All right, my arc is over. I'm leaving this apartment. Here you go. Take yeah, care." Yeah, right. Like, That's, I was actually so mention the, the, oh, the, yeah, the, the guy with the piercings. They showed him in the crowd. Yeah, though. the two oh, yeah. band yeah. members showed up. Oh, maybe she'll make a comeback. Yeah. Hopefully, hey, maybe, you know? and then make it the the, the was it the the th- you know possible three three girls then you got like oh, you know his uh, his no. teammate you got oh, you got no. Mai and then you got her. Show just make it real the spicy. script and now it just becomes the love triangle series. Oh god, yeah, that's, that's some as long as it doesn't, it doesn't affect stuff. the music. Hey, they can do whatever they want. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. Hey man. Uh, anyway, I think I'm good. Mm-hmm. I will follow. Yeah. I will follow the life model, man. Life just needs a little bit more twang. <laughs> You know, guys, I would I would love to read the manga for this and finish the story, but I don't think it would be the same because you oh, God, can't no. hear it. Oh, it's it's so long <laughs> going. Not. I was actually I looked it up. It's Is still it? ongoing. Okay. So, you Dude, know, but this that's, this that's show great stuff. We have lots of content apparently to uh, you yeah. know have further seasons be animated. I don't well, think you... I could read this though. I don't think I could read it. It, it yes. has to be no, played. you would not get the impact yeah. of the yeah. song and everything. Do you know what they should do? Like back, like back when I was in kindergarten, they had these books that came with like tapes right mm. of people reading the stories yeah. mm. but oh, the right. mangas they should sell tapes of like audio like an audio version of the story so that you can follow along with the music There's i wonder budget. if they do yeah. have that i bet they actually maybe do if you were like buy this stuff in japan but yeah. since we're reading it online here i mean you guys aren't y'all aren't buying the volumes of it that I, I wonder like if they do more, have that that's it that sounds like it'd be more like a light novel than a manga you think i think so because I mean, you know, down for light novel. Almost sounds I mean, like an audio book with music. They've got, novel, they've got like novel, drama yeah. CDs and stuff yeah, like that. Dra- this is basically drama the same CDs, concept. So it's not, it's not out that of is true too. Oh. Yeah, that's that's what I would need. If they do do it, that's great. But man, if they don't, that's an idea they should try for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. That's a good idea. If, if they don't have the budget for another season. <laughs> the show's going places, guys. All right, yes, yes, yes. making money out the wild zoo. Uh, all right, they're, they're gonna I do have feel like it's for sure. I do feel like it's really popular. Like I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about it. Like it's got nothing but good feedback from what I've seen online. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. Anyway, I think I'm done. We're way over time. Okay, <laughs> it's uh, worth it. It's worth it. All right, it's worth it. It's worth it. All right, time timekeeper. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing my job very well as a timekeeper. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, no worries. I'll calm down. You, you, I'll you've you been Ganku. This is your show of the season. It's worth it. Okay. All right. All right. And with All that, right. we're going to hand it from Ashuna <laughs> Ulto. Keep it together for next week, sir. Mm-hmm. And we'll then Koob here can take a break because we're talking about Shadow's House. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um. Well, we didn't have Taylor last week. So, Taylor, what are your um... thoughts been with Shadow's House? I, I've watched so much anime in the last like 48 hours. I can't even remember exactly what happened this week or what happened compared to like what happened this week. But no like, worries. I do remember one thing that I really liked from last week is that they, the very ending after you see like the reveal of Edward and you learn a little bit more about him, how that like the ending song changed and you just mm-hmm. see that black and white transition with him. I thought that was really cool and really creepy and I really liked it a lot. Yep. Um, even though I missed the ending song, but it was back this week. So it's okay. Um, <laughs> and I just, I just, I don't know. I just, I really am loving the fact that we're getting to see more of the shadow masters that are in the house watching them have a better idea of like what they want. I, I take it that that one older guy that's in there is what the grandfather. I think so. Do you yeah. Think, do we think? Yeah. It's gotta be right. Basically. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, um, the, I can't remember what her name was, but one of the shadow masters in the house when she was like, I think she was the one that revealed her face where she like got too excited. Oh, and her okay. shadow was fell it Sophia? Off. I, yes, I think so. Yeah. And like, she went oh, like licked God. her lips with that creepy little, ass. Like, creepy shadow snake, tongue. like shadow tongue. <laughs> I was like, what is going on with these people? And it's finally confirmed that like, basically that the, you know, the dolls and the shadows merge, which I, you know, we kind of tossed around that idea, I think mm -hmm. before. So I'm glad that, that that's been confirmed, something to kind of move forward with. And I guess that's what's going on with Edward. So he's not even a special doll then, right? He's just, he's just yeah. what you're, everybody's yeah. aiming to become. I mean, he, exactly. he's the combination. Yeah. yeah, and there's only more three people egotistical. That... <laughs> it's a little bit disconcerting that there's only three people that like moved on from his group, I guess, to like the point where they're at. Um, mm -hmm. Seems like we might be losing characters along the way if that if it stays that status quo. Sorry, I'm just a stream of consciousness. There's so no, much that happened good. in the last few episodes. No, it's, and they've been it's so good. good. It's, it's, it's helping yeah. remember what happened because um, actually, I do remember like the whole shadow, like shadow merging with like the face whatever like the living doll like i was confused mm -hmm. about that last week with edward or whatever whenever it happened like i didn't know i couldn't really try to see what was going on and now like this week that now it really helped me for oh okay it is like the merger so, so. yeah i kind of downplays though like what edward's unique ability could be then because you know mm -hmm. as of the week before that's what we had you know as viewers potentially thought like oh edward is this individual that you know can merge with his respective shadow master that we have never seen before but then in you know this week's episode everybody's just like oh that was stupid of him to you know reveal that basically very flamboyantly but mm -hmm. not that you know Emilico or anybody has seen that but it definitely paints a better picture of you know okay what powers do you know, these shadow masters have versus what are more unique in their own regards, um, which I think, you know, this week's episode did a good job of, again, reiterating where um, I can't help but think for for those who have played Resident Evil 5 and, you know, Chris Redfield being the macho oh, man the that boulder, he is in, in, boulder, the in punching boulders. Punch. Yeah, that's, and we yeah, had, you know, exactly John like punch that's... a boulder as well. And I, yeah, I couldn't help but think about Resident oh, Evil. <laughs> But um, no, the thing for me that I really loved this week was oddly enough, Ricky, like mm -hmm. seeing yeah. Ricky's development and, you know, becoming, you know, Which... I can't help but think of Bakugo, you know, oh. where you have this character. Really? That's just... You uh... do not see it like I, I, think, I, I you can know, very see Draco Malfoy. That's I was, all I, I think. More Draco yeah, Malfoy yeah. Because again, again, like Harry Potter, you know, he's like he's actually feeling bad about his actions yeah. and reflect on it. It's yeah. like it's just like Harry Potter. But, yeah, yeah, that's definitely the better, better relation that Taylor's been, you know, honing in on these weeks. Um, but I, I really like, you know, the relationship that are starting to build between uh, him and Lou. Uh, I think mm -hmm. that's very cute. And I can't, mm -hmm. you know, wait to see more from them. Um, but again, him just coming in the clutch at the end with uh, rotating John in to save him from the boulder. That was really great. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, I'm really glad that this show has been just really amping it up week over week it's definitely been the dark horse uh no puns intended with you know the name of the series but um yeah overall just loving it can't wait to see you know where things kind of end off with this debut um it seems like you know oddly enough everybody is going to pass i think I but think to your point likely... taylor you know the fact that they said the last debut or edwards class's debut only three passed there is that kind of hesitation of like okay but... well it's almost too good to be true. Everybody is doing too well at this point. But I, I don't know this... that they got eliminated during his debut, though. I feel like there's still stuff that you can get eliminated from, like, past the debut. Like, there's mm, still things okay, that can ruin it. There was something about how he phrased it that made me think it didn't necessarily happen from his debut. Um, okay. Well, I don't, and I mean, I still think that there's the opportunity that Amilico might lose, that we might see what happens with her and Kate if you do lose or, or something like that. I just feel like having them all win would be weird, you know? I don't know. Agree. Guess, but at the same time, it's like they did say like this this group like they all have really special like abilities, especially for Soot. Like like uh, Sean or John, I forget which one is which, but like like John's ability is really strong, and like other people are really good at controlling their their Soot. Even though like like Shirley's sure the only one that hasn't really hasn't really made any Soot, but maybe I'm thinking like maybe it's because like she because she knew like her trap involves Soot, so she was like trying not to not to put herself in danger so i think like i think it's not that that not that big a possibility that like they all pass because i think they're saying that like yeah this group is special because they're they're sort of abilities are really strong mm -hmm. 
And also, I, I want. Uh, I just want to give also a shout out to to Patrick as well, because 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 Patrick also remember he remembers what Emilico did before, and he, he tried mm-hmm. to pay it for it too. So both of them like really, mm-hmm. really had good like development uh, this episode. I'm actually really just loving the interactions between all the characters. Like, I actually, surprisingly, I actually really like all of them. The only one that I don't like really that much is Shirley. And that's just because she just don't talk. know anything We have nothing her. to go off of, exactly. Yeah. So I don't dislike her, but I mean, if I had to pick a person to go, like, it'd be her. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't want to lose rum. So, I mean, that is kind of, that kind of is what it is. The only thing I'm still a little bit confused about and I might go back and rewatch the last couple episodes again, is exactly what Edward's intentions are. Like, at first, I thought he was really trying to sabotage specifically Emilico for some reason, and now I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I just can't quite figure out, like, what he wants from this. And even the Shadow Masters are confused, too. They're like, why are you setting this up this way? Because you're basically just, like, helping them build their bonds with their faces, and that's not oh, the, yeah. what should be happening. Yeah. And so... I, that's a good point. I, well, I don't so, know. so some of the Shadow Masters are saying traditionally it doesn't happen. Like, you sh- like they shouldn't mm-hmm. be shouldn't have a bond because it should be just you shouldn't be allowed to think for themselves but mm-hmm. i think someone did mention too how how like well like like this way too like it, it promotes loyalty so i think like they're trying maybe edward's trying to get recognized for being more innovative in his debut so mm-hmm. or the debut trial so maybe it could be one thing Good otherwise thing, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so confused like yeah because it seems like yeah, he it, uh, otherwise it seems like he wants to fail someone because that's that's just like, mm-hmm. shows how good of a judge you are that you can you have quality control and you can you can fail people. Yeah. So there but definitely like, seems to be a split in like Edward's intentions for sure. Like you know when we first get introduced to him, we just think that okay, you know he's out here to make everybody else lose or suffer. But now it's mm-hmm. almost like you know he's not only hitting below, but he's also trying to prove a point to those above him where you know he wants that status. But I also feel like he really wants to change the landscape of the shadows house yeah kind of what it he feels that way is ideal so he's kind mm-hmm. of like a weird protagonist antagonist type mix mm-hmm. and that he has both good and bad intentions chaotic so. neutral yeah yeah exactly yeah. Very maybe we'll, we'll see more of it like, once the debut is over and he reveals like what he's been up to so yeah, yeah, man. I I feel like we're gonna get blue balls hard though at the end of the season. Like we're gonna get I the debut, too. and then there's gonna be something that they learned, and it's gonna be like, all right, wait for season two, and it's just like, no. It's gonna be like goes like, and like, goes and read the manga. <laughs> if it's like, anything like freaking Promise Neverland, I feel like it's gonna end, and I'm gonna be like, I cannot wait for the next part. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, man. When you said that, Justin, I just think I just think like a miracle talking to Kate in a room, and then like it just ends with her closing the door, and then boom, that's end. Of, that's end of the season. That would be a very fitting, ominous end, so Mm -hmm. we will see. But I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Yeah. Uh, It's nice. This aspect is nice. Still, it's not as creepy as it was before, but like, uh, the JU shot is still going good. But I just remember, just, I just remember, like, yeah, a lot of the early episodes were really creepy. So, yeah, hopefully we get back to those more suspenseful kind of thriller horror aspect I don't know, of it. it seems like we just got end the debut and then it just seems like i don't know i don't know what else they could come up with let's see after the debut True. so yeah we will see but yeah i think that's where i ended here for shadow's house and then move on to our next show let's talk about vivi Ooh, cool <sighs> you missed the last few weeks that's uh you know i thought terminator was a nice movie when it first came out <laughs> and uh i've seen a lot of resemblance here uh with the uh the the villain here um, yeah yeah it makes me wonder who the actual villain is because I mean, yeah, like like memes aside, jokes aside, it, it's too obvious that it's Skynet, right? I feel like there's got to be something else, something that like that's tied to Vivi, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, like with the whole theory about it being like a constant loop effect, and that you know, like Matsumoto is always going to be transported back to the past to get Vivi up to speed. But it looks is like he, with is he always? Because they, they didn't no, no. But it, it looks like with with this uh, episode, it looks like they canceled it, so there's no constant loop, yeah. right? Because uh, time has it, been changed. Yeah. Was, that, was that confirmed? It was, was a constant loop. I thought it only went back once. No, no, that was a theory this. that I had before oh, this week's okay. episode. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, because yeah. he yeah he he didn't get to hit the but button because Vivi yeah. uh, stepped yeah. in. So Matsumoto but, never went back in the timeline that we're on now. Yeah. Well, robot uh, Matsumoto that is. <laughs> right. Right. But Taylor did have a, a thought though of uh, basically who is actually uh, behind all of it. Oh, I mean, oh. it was just a casual thought. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not like putting all oh, my money behind this or anything. But I mean, I was Let's just saying, it. I just think it's Vivi. I mean, because yeah. basically they did show oh. that one that one scene where it showed her creation and that old lady that made her and she was she gave her her mis- mission to like sing from the heart or something with the heart and the other guy in the room was like hey she's an ai she doesn't know the con- to understand the concept of a heart it's probably not a great idea she was like it's fine i want to see what happens and if she ends yeah. up hating all of humankind well that's fine too at least oh, i'll know what, when you see that line <laughs> then in, then the, the archive saying we need to we can't tolerate humans anymore that makes more sense too so, yeah. I mean, well, I don't know we... how, but I kind of had the thought that maybe this has actually already happened a couple of times before that, like, basically, we're kind of in the middle of the loop, but some whatever's going to happen in the future is already done and over mm-hmm. with. And they're just they're, it's going to be them constantly yeah. learning that this is what's always going to happen. And it's because of Vivi somehow. But yeah. I don't know. Why. To, your, to your point, it's just like all roads lead from Vivi. So it's like the only thing that you can do to destroy this is destroying Vivi or never having Vivi be created mm-hmm. in the first place. Mm hmm. So, I mean, even when they were doing the little um, graphics with, like, the timeline, like, they very distinctly show that, like, you know, it's starting with Vivi. So it kind of further mm-hmm. draws your intentions of just, like, well, that makes sense of, like, kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy type of twist. It's not the most innovative yeah. twist, but it makes mm-hmm. sense for what, I guess, you have to do. And, of course, yeah. you're going to have these conflicts of people being like, no, Vivi, like, we can't lose you. And it's like, you know oh, how great is it for it to be, you know, very self-sacrificial. <laughs> See, the thing is, like, if that is what happens, though, like, I just don't really care. Like, I feel like I never really cared about her as a character. She never really seemed to have all that many emotions. She never had strong will that I saw. Like, if she had, just has to go back and never be born, I'm like, okay. Well, she's <laughs> I mean, that an seems AI? Like a nah. Yeah, I mean, all the other AIs does, the girl have who, personalities. <laughs> the girl who died on the airplane is the real, you know, hero. Like, she was the one that gave Vivi the purpose mm-hmm. in the first place. So exactly to your yeah. point, Taylor, like, Vivi yeah. was never really anything special. Like, I hate mm-hmm. to say it, but... Mm-hmm. I don't know. When you're first, that is very special. I know that uh, that means a lot to a lot of people, especially in the comments. <laughs> first, first comment. First, first, first year. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, it definitely makes sense, right? Like, it wouldn't surprise me if, say, the creator of VB was, like, she, like, uploaded her subconscious to uh, this... Uh, the art archive. The art whatever. archive, whatever, right? And then, I I guess, uh, maybe she's the one that's pulling the strings behind everything? I mean, who knows? Because it looks she like... Just doesn't know it. Yeah, it looks like... Because uh, with the introduction of Beth again, it looks like you're capable of, like, uploading a backup of an AI's memory to mm. a server and then uh i don't know if you need the same body per se but you can re-upload that memory to another uh android or ai uh, it would be the same body yeah because i'm pretty sure they right i'm pretty sure her old body was destroyed in yeah the hotel no but, not, but you but just upload like, it to it, like a husk you know another yeah, android it, body right yeah. like does it have to be the same one or does it have to be someone different so that that's that's what i meant but uh it, it's still very uh open-ended but it, it doesn't look like it's going to be anything like too original. It looks like it's going to be something that's like been been done before. It seems like. Yeah. So. Did they explain why the granddaughter of the Toke leadership is in a wheelchair, or did I just miss no. that? Were no. they just trying to get like sympathy points in that regard? Like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, probably, yeah. You know, it's like the first time we saw her, so we didn't really get much yeah. better. I'm surprised the guy yeah. like, even had like kids. Like, if all like the. Right, he's doing like how do you have time? How did he find the have time? A, have a family, yeah, he's and all too that. busy, you know. Hey guys, it only takes skull. 30 seconds. <laughs> oh lord, but uh, but um, yes, but to- yes. but Tok is you know, they're on their side now because you know they're fighting AI in a sense, so they're allies. Well, yeah, at least we she know. is, she's on their side, but it doesn't sound yeah. like everybody. Well, they still have the different that. factions or whatever, but she oh, right. controls the majority of like, okay, we still, you know, we're still f- uh, friends with the androids. <laughs> Kind right, of. You know. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I definitely oh, feel yes. like the show hasn't done anything wrong per se, but it really hasn't done anything like when you do look back at it, like really innovative. Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah, it's like because we were talking about how like last week's episode was it was done so well and then they really didn't follow it up uh, that strongly. Yeah, most definitely. Sadly. Well, even, this like, week was very disappointing, to be honest. Like, yeah. even, well, it's like even back to when we first were like discussing it at the beginning of the season, too, mm-hmm. like we thought like. It was cool at first and then like like we just kept pointing out all like the, the 
the tropes that happen, and now we're just, we're yeah. seeing it at the end here, just like we predicted. So, yeah. yeah. I, well, the first two episodes, I think we all thought like, damn, like if it wasn't for that second episode, it, I don't think none of us would really have been like nearly as hyped like right off the bat. But uh, but then yeah, the, the whole fear was just like like how we've kind of seen how this was going to go down, yep. and it's how and it, it's here basically we are. happening there. Mm-hmm. happening the same way i mean but i still like i'm liking the show i don't think it's you know bad by any no, means i mean but i mean that's what, that's what justin's saying it's like yeah you you hope an anime original like be like more experimental and this feels like very like terminatory seems, seems like we <laughs> well, see it before so the, the animation Terminator. definitely helps it you know the fact that it's got the backing that it does with both yes. the writer and the animation i think if you know you didn't have this level of animation for fight scenes and all these other things then yeah it'd just be even more very, like mid at the end of the yep. day very mm-hmm. generic yeah but, uh, uh I, yeah. I really don't have much more to say the only thing i'll say it's like <laughs> i don't know just like i thought it was just like crazy or ridiculous when like the she saved the one guy I think he got ran over by that, by that truck or that, oh, that car. Yeah. That coon <laughs> trucks again. That was so funny. It's like, your destination has been reached. <laughs> yeah. It's like, <laughs> it was so like, ridiculous. So I, I, solid. I couldn't help but laugh. That so that's a, I mean, that's a sign I, out I can't help but laugh when so. those little orb things just always like, yeah. knock people like, from the side. I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah, I was just about to say that too. Like you're talking about ridiculous deaths. I mean, you have arms flying at heads. <laughs> ridiculous, more like though, sad, bro. That's the yeah, saddest way to go. Getting one, one tap. Yeah. I will say though that Headshot. I find all of the AI singing her song. I do actually find that to be kind of creepy. Like the way they did oh, that yeah. and the sing it. I it, it did actually. I, I found it unnerving. So I thought well, they did yeah. that well. Just, just think, if you're like a human, you're just about to die from that. Hell yeah, man. That's creepy as fuck. The last thing you hear is just a la, yeah. la, 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 Yeah. Like, your entire <laughs> life, you've known, like, AI has been, like, your friend, like, your ally and stuff. All of a sudden, you basically, you know, like, you're a... Uh, your uh, your ally friend is coming at you with a knife, singing no, some no, great, sh- creepy, creepy ass lullaby. Friend, sh- 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 friend, when you die, you're gonna see you're gonna see an android body with Siri's voice, and she's gonna start singing. Oh man! Before before she 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 comes to get you. I take that. That's fine. <laughs> so would you rather off. take would you rather take the android singing la 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 or the sound of children laughing in the park <laughs> before you die? I'm laughing, laughing in the park. In the park. Yeah. I'll really? Yeah, yeah. It sounds more soothing than. Mm-hmm. That what was I, happening? Uh, the laughing in the park, mm. singing kids like in horror movies always freak me out. So no, no thank you. Yeah, yeah kids are pretty Watch scary. Yeah, I mean, so is an AI lullaby. Yeah, <laughs> at least at least with AI, so you kind of know that there's no there's no chance of you surviving, right? Because it's like they're robots. <laughs> but Why with would kids, you survive anyway. There's no, no but, 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 <laughs> but with kids, you can hear them laughing, but you might have a chance because, like, all right, I'm bigger than them. I can overpower them, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. There's, hopefully, there's not a mob with knives yeah, coming out. Yeah, it depends how many kids are running at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just got one, say, one little kid I got to worry about, or like an kids. army of. <laughs> like, those kids are demon kids. So. Uh, hey, I'm still bigger than they are. So. Okay. Uh-huh. We will yeah. see. Anyway, on that note. Yeah, yeah we're right at there with those. Well, Steven Child. La, la, la. So, yeah. That's it for VV for this week. Let's move on to our next show. Let's talk about 86. Ooh. Guys, I almost I almost shed a tear this episode, guys. Oh, did you really? really? Almost. Yeah. Mm. For for who? For Shin? uh Shin, yeah. Like oh, when what? he finally when he killed his brother and then like he was putting the pieces together of like the bond that they used to have, right? The brother relationship. Yeah. All oh, the photos like, were coming slowly back. I, f- yeah. I totally got yeah. a um Oh my god, what's the movie? No 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 no. What was oh. the movie? A silent voice. You know like how he oh. has like a bunch of question marks oh, right. over everybody's faces and then finally when he comes to like terms of resolution, everybody's faces, you know, like oh. reappear. Oh, it's yeah. it's yeah. exactly like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. like so, No, the- I get that. It's definitely but like I'm when, like when the sure. theme, when the music starts playing, and you get Solano with like the vocals, that just oh my god, dude, Unknown that Zero. avid the song ending, like that is my shit. I cannot tell you how many times I've been listening to that song just on loop. Like ugh, it hits so well. Which one? Which one? Avid, the closing song for oh, eighty six, right, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. they tied it into the kind of final moments of Shin and his brother. Yeah, that was good. It was very well done. The directing in this, I think, the, like the directing in the show is like really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the directing is fantastic. I yeah. wish that the the stuff with the brother didn't really get to me at all. Like, I really didn't. It had absolutely no impact. Mm-hmm. I kind of felt like it was like if, I I was really like stuck mentally on whether it is his brother that is some like his if it's still somehow his brother in some yeah, way or no, he's twisted mean. or 
because it, 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 that really annoyed me. Hmm? Uh, no, I get what you mean because mean? like because like because it seemed like it had its own its own like thoughts, but like yeah. But I was yeah, I was confused too. Like, is that like is that the AI reacting to what his brother would think, or is like is it somehow his brother? So I I told yeah, you what it, you mean. And because I was like so stuck on that, I couldn't decide how to feel. Because like if it wasn't his brother, and if it was just like using his thoughts or his voice or something somehow, um, then I feel like it shouldn't. Like he would have already mourned his brother before, and this just kind of feels like overly hyped, especially because like the thing is acting so almost like comically evil, like with the creepy smile and <laughs> creepy dialogue and whatnot. Uh, and if it is his brother, I just don't understand the point. Like it, like we had a brief backstory of his brother hates him, I guess, or hated him. Had a moment of hating him because his parents went off to war or something, and it's his fault. And we had a little bit of that and then it just cuts to him still being like that type of character. But the only way that we ever saw him was with Leno and she, when he helped save her, it just, all of it just felt like it didn't tie up together very nicely. So it didn't have any impact for me personally, but at the very end when they went off out of the yeah, radar, that was... that was pretty brutal. And I, and I felt really sad about that. And I was telling you, I actually kind of would be okay with the show ending right there. Cause it's like so traumatizing. I was actually okay with it ending there. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I was actually kind of laughing to myself, thinking, "Dude, where's this girl? Where's Lena running to? What is Yo, she that's doing?" Why I was, I, I, that's why I, I was confused at first because I almost thought that like they were gonna get towards the border oh. of the Republic and like Lena was running yeah, towards same. like the same right. field of flowers, and they right. were gonna show up there and like Lena would just watch them get taken the fuck out because I don't know, you know, how the Republic mm -hmm. deals with any you know units coming up to there. Mm -hmm. So that definitely threw me off. But then, yeah, I didn't know how to feel otherwise in terms of like when they were, you know, kind of going forward and talking about, like, the flowers and scenes, like, what I was supposed to take from that, like, do we think they just got wiped the fuck out, or do you well, think they just went off the radar where, yeah, think, you know, I, I it's just no man. Oh, they, they, they went off the radar for uh, sure, off radar, because yeah. it said signal loss at the very end. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. yeah I just um, assume they went out of range of whatever they have, uh, mm -hmm. and then I think yeah. that's also, that's why I also thought, like, Lena was, like, running, because I thought maybe she was trying to, like, stay in range. Oh, well, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm I mean, again of why thing. I thought it was yeah. the Republic is when Lena was running, they showed like the cathedral in the mm -hmm. Republic town, and they the you know group said like, oh look, there's a cathedral there's building like out in the distance, red yeah, flowers, red flowers too, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when then when they weren't there, I was just like, oh damn, to Taylor's point, yeah. like that had more emotion for me of them just like trying to finally reconnect or join. Yeah, but we'll I, see. I mean, I where felt... do we where do we go from here? Like. Yeah, I don't know where we go either. To me, it felt like an ending point. And like, I don't know. I just could have like so clearly picture how she felt in that moment. Just like having that that connection completely lost. She obviously really cares and loves about all of them. She's tried to do everything she possibly can to educate herself, do better and help them out. You know what I mean? It would just be like, like kind of traumatizing having that connection cut off. Like I, I felt that way. At the, I haven't felt that way from something for a while. So kudos to the directing on that, in my opinion. But I have no idea where they're going to go from here. Yeah, I'm curious if yeah. this is like... If this is the ending of Volume One, or there's still more, like I don't know how much time, how much they're adapting, or how much there's left. So this would make sense if it's it is the ending for Volume One. I mean, we only have two episodes left, so I'm not sure how much more they can do besides set something up. Yeah, I wish yeah. I wish they would explain who the Legion are. Like I want to see yes. a human person from the Legion. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm still going with the with the the theory of aliens. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna back you up. Bro. I'm gonna say aliens. I'm gonna say aliens. I mean, they made us love Oh, man, them. like... Honestly, the, it's going to be much like the, the, the Darling, you, We, we all saw how aliens go for Darling in the Franks. I don't think we want any more <laughs> oh, aliens, all right? God. I mean, there, there's a way to do aliens, and there's a way not to do aliens, <laughs> right? But, I mean, with, with, the powers, with the powers that the brother had, with the, like, liquid metal arms, like T-1000 or whatever, like, mm -hmm. it's it's not... It doesn't seem like it's something from Earth, you know? It seems yeah. like it's something with more advanced technology, and especially with the fact that these guys can take... Uh, the brains, the brains from from corpses, and throw them into like their own um, machine, like mech, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And if the if the brain is in good condition, it can kind of retain some of its like subconscious, in a sense. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen a human person yet from this legion, and it makes me think more and more that it's probably just aliens that overtook the world, and the Republic <sighs> is the one like last stand, I, mean... I guess. I'm just gonna say Skynet. I'm gonna go with I'm just gonna go with the, more Terminator, Vivi. more Skynet. Go with Vivi. They keep they keep saying that like the Legion is all automated, so like So I'm just I'm gonna just go with that. I because I kept thinking it was gonna be the same thing as the Republic where um mm -hmm. like where they say it's it's automated but they have humans on their side too, but then we 
they I guess they showed it wasn't it there's this actual like there's this actual like on, on me machines compared to mm-hmm. eighty six. So I'm I'm assuming it's just it's just all machines. It's all just just like on Mac, like like yeah. more machines fighting. Mm-hmm. Well, I think if anything, the only other thing we haven't talked about is you know I think we can hopefully still come to the agreement of fuck Annette, you know Lana's <laughs> friend. <laughs> That, you know, luckily yeah. came in clutch to, you know, give access to um, the mortar strike to save everyone. But then, mm-hmm. obviously, it was very fitting that, you know, the neighbors ended up being uh, Shin mm-hmm. and, and his brother's family. But then, so now what I, I was trying to think of, and sorry to cut you off, David, but it's like, when Lena first revealed, you know, that neighbor relationship and how they learned that they had a special ability to basically, like, telepathically communicate with each other, mm-hmm. that had me thinking, so... Were the brother and Shin the ones that were being... Like, how was the para raid developed? Because it almost made it seem like... I don't know. Like, am I getting things confused when Annette was explaining, you know, their neighbors and how that they basically developed the para raid because of what they learned from that family? I don't know if it's, like... If it was developed, like... Or was it, like, ancestors of Shin's family? I think it's about ancestors. I think based on the story, it was actually, like, Shin's mom that uh um annette's dad found out that shin's mom had a had telepathic powers mm-hmm. and he was she was communicating with her children uh because you know they're next door neighbors so i guess you're kind of just like really all up in up their information. business and everything yeah <laughs> right and then when he figured this out i guess he uh leaked it to the government and the government wanted to take control of this power and develop it and then he ended up uh like rounding up all the the 86 series i guess to uh um kind of experiment on uh, so that's where i probably got things mixed up i yeah. think it's like only that family of shin and his you know direct relatives had that ability so then i was like well how did shin and his brother die then if they you know basically were testing them all as 86 or as guinea pigs right. but now that you're saying they probably tested other 86 like now that's right. something that all 86 innately you know, and i want to s- and I want to say the reason why Shin's brother was so mad at him was probably because since Shin and Annette was so close back in the days, maybe Shin was the one that gave up the information that they had telepathic powers. Yeah. And then because so it's of that, like, it's oh, his fault in a sense. sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's why the parents died. The parents didn't die in war. They died right. probably through the testing Experiment. and development of the para raid. Yeah. So that's what I was getting. Okay. I was just going to say, like, sense. the whole, like... <laughs> I was still kind of confused, like, why is Annette still, like, the whole, like, relation that, like, that it was Shin that was her neighbor? Like, I don't, like, I think, like, how Annette, like, feels, did she feel, like, still, was it, like, like, I didn't understand why it was such, that was such a big deal for, for, for that revelation for Lena to, to make Annette, like, help her out. Like, I don't understand that she, yeah. like, what's going on with her character. Yeah. Like, does she actually still, like, feel bad, and she's, like... I think to, like, it's guilt still. Yeah. No yeah, guilt, right. you know, and she's just trying to hide it from Lena then. Mm hmm. For sure. Probably. And it's just convenient. There you yeah, go. for sure. <laughs> but I got to say, though, Lena was looking awfully sexy when she was, uh, you know, kind of guilt tripping Annette to helping her, you know, yeah. out in the oh, rain. Like out in the rain, just yeah. full badass mode. Like, all right, bitch, you did this to me. I can play this, you know, song and dance. Yep. You mm. know, karma's a bitch. <laughs> give, give me the access to the mortar strike <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know it's uh i, I don't know like I, I don't know what the plan of the republic is after seeing that because if they had all that ammunition or the potential to do like these these airstrikes uh why aren't they doing that before if it was right. really like such a threat well, I think the next episode is going to be like the follow to uh, like as to like like basically like what just happened because like right. the whole the whole thing with the republic is like they're all supposed to die, mm-hmm. and uh, like now basically where they assist with just like a just a crazy airstrike in a sense or a mortar strike whatever you want to call it, and then where like five of them are actually still alive and they got like they're out of they're out of range now it's more of like just kind of like what what. What's gonna be like the be- the what's gonna happen to Lena now? Basically yeah. everything that happened. I would hope we get Lena being brought to trial or something for the actions that she's taken, just so then we can learn more about yeah. the Republic and the army, apart from Lena's uncle who just spouts the same five things every time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> really like something else with that. So we'll see. We have two yeah. episodes to do it. That's gonna be rough, guys. It's gonna be rough. Yeah. I got nothing else. All right, so I think we're in there for 86 then. Move on to our next show. Let's talk about To Your Eternity. 
Man, and I'm out. And I okay. oh no, I forgot. <laughs> I have Poor to start Marge. this other saying like, man, yeah. Like last week, I was like shitting on like this, like the kid in this arc because I, I thought it wasn't gonna be anything special. Now I feel like a jerk, man. Like I'm like, yeah. yeah man. Speaking of tragic characters, my, my man Gugu cannot win, bro. Dude, like, no, like, it's so sad. I feel like a jerk, man. I was trashing this kid last week. Now I have to like, I have to so, apologize. <laughs> see, I, I thought I remember him saying something about hot, something in his stomach, you know? And yeah, I called it. Yeah, you called it straight. Yep. I didn't. I was yep. just fucking, alcohol, fucking old man. Well, I didn't really. Like, dude, fuck this yeah. alcoholic, crazy. You know, yeah, dude, grandpa, that guy, dude. Yeah, I like, want him to be dead at the end of this arc. Like, I really want him to be dead and gone, and I want him to uh, feel some pain while he goes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't expect it to be like that, like that kind of like dark thing, like where it's just basically just like alcohol just chilling in a in a kid's stomach. I thought yeah. I, I thought it was gonna be something else, and I was like, wow, uh, okay. <laughs> but no, it definitely feels like this show has you know with this latest arc has definitely become the Goo Goo show. It's no longer really mm-hmm. much about you know Fushi and everything. Like yeah, he's there to be the homie and and save him when he needs it, but. Dude, I'm totally I mean, feeling for Goo. I, really, and I like the... this style like much better when it's just like when it's focused on the other characters and like it's like I don't like like mm-hmm. Kushi like being too involved. Does it feel so convenient him mm-hmm. being immortal and having the big yeah, form? Yeah. I agree. So, yeah. Agreed. It, like this. It's like... Go ahead, David. Sorry. I was gonna say so. There's like again way back to that to the first the first first guy like where it was just like the wolf following him all the time. Now it's like now it's just like Kushi having to like. He has to deal with a problem where he can't just fight his way out. So I really mm-hmm. enjoy like the way this arc is set up. I was gonna say like uh, a thing that this show really does well with the characters is basically one make you feel sorry for them and also make them all like really fu- like like really likable. Like all these like all three characters, you know, like with uh, with uh, what's we'll called the original main guy. We'll just say you know Fushi, Fushi, uh, yeah. Fushi March, and then also Gugu. Like they're basically all like really positive characters. Like this guy where he where he like runs into his brother and basically just sees him like on hard times and gives him the yeah. ring. It's like, dude, come on, man! Like After all this, he's this... been through, he's so selfless. Oh my god, dude! This guy's like I don't know. <laughs> this guy's awesome. <laughs> He's really awesome. I have to say, I'm going to pull a coup a little bit on this and say, like, if 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 Google oh doesn't God. get, oh, he like, ain't making it. He's, he's, he's dying. Like, he's if, gonna die. I, yeah. If like, he doesn't get some redemption, like, I'll I won't drop the show. But my God, it is just going to really upset yeah. me. Like, he's a probably going to get some redemption yeah. between jump him and me, the Taylor. One, uh... <laughs> <laughs> jump, jump. <laughs> oh man, he'll uh, he'll probably get his redemption it. with the uh, the royal girl <sighs> that's now you know visiting the shop and everything. They'll probably have their moment, and then he'll probably die, like yeah. literally after they commit. Or they confess love. I don't think he has to die. Okay, I don't think it has he to die. He doesn't have to, but I feel like this is like a show. It's, it's like getting a... way too much screen time not yeah. to die. Let me put right. it that Basically. way. Yeah. Just... From what we've learned from the show, like the the, the main person dies yeah. <laughs> in the arcs. Like, and fuck lit- you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here. I was gonna say I think I think Gugu is gonna end up with with a with a girl, and I think that something good is gonna happen for him. And I do oh. not. Most specifically, it, I do not it, think he's gonna die. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that that's what Koo thought last time too of March. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I blame the opening for spoiling too much. They've shown too much of him in the opening, and what <laughs> did they do? They showed too much of March and March in an older version, and what happened? Well, yeah. That yeah. shit doesn't happen. <laughs> I agree. Okay. No, oh, the whole thing is like I kept thinking like damn, yeah, like if you know, Ku like you know doesn't like uh, doesn't like the passing on of kids. Like Ku would hate it even more. I, I think just like how, where I think we all kind of know where this arc is gonna go. Basically, just uh, another kids is just not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah. Like okay, like if I, Gu, I'm if, fine like, with it though. Like, <laughs> oh if Gugu doesn't doesn't die, it's it's definitely like the girl then. Like it's one of those who are gonna die. It's probably like, oh, it's probably girl, Gugu, but it's like but it's like it's. Like I can see the, like a girl dying, man, but like one of them's gotta die. Like, so look, I would still, I would still like if they some if at some point they go like on that adventure thing where it's more than just Fu going on this adventure and just wandering aimlessly. Like it would be nice to see like another like living human, mm. another yeah. living person, I guess I should say. Well, we saw just the guess they have, like, a... from before. That's like the oh, only yeah, 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 thing like... with that old alcoholic yeah, guy. Like nah, I hate nah, them both. They can both yeah. go to hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like so, I mean that she's she's like the only connection from the previous arc. So, yeah. so I guess yeah, like if, terrible, though. if, if Google does, I guess if Google doesn't die, he'll probably go on the adventure of Fushi because he doesn't he doesn't have anything to do here. So See, we thought March was gonna go with him too, <laughs> like briefly yeah. when they they first saved him. Then, for death. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, yeah. I think yeah, I first thought thought that, then I thought you know she was gonna survive at some point. But anyway, um, it, it would be nice to see 
you know, somebody else, it would also, uh, but you know, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Now it's, it's uh, like, I, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, dreading in this arc now. Cause like, I can't believe yeah. I got so attached to Gugu in this one episode. Yeah. And now it's like, and now knowing the, the formula, it's like, oh God, I'm just dreading like Dude, next one or two it's episodes. Just, it's just positive characters that know no evil in the world. You know, that those are the ones that basically just hurt. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I mean, I got really nothing else though. So. so, so shout outs to all the manga readers. You were right. Like, I can't. Like, I'm uh, just. I'm like, I'm just in it to the end now. And yep. Yeah. Oh, a uh, quick question before we end it: Are you guys are you, uh, after the season? Are you guys going to read it? Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you yeah. asked. You said you're That's true. That's true. I, I, I already kind of knew you. I feel like me and Taylor have already kind of, you know, <laughs> documented ourselves as those individuals that's like we're loving something, and you know, we have to wait any amount of time. We're straight going to the stores. <laughs> like we ain't stopping. All right, so. all right. I just wanted to check, David. You're on. How about you? I'll I'll Will wait a little bit. It? I'll wait a little bit because I have a little, little bit. I, I okay. have like, other things to do, so like I don't need to read it right oh. away. So he has a life, Justin. And I have no yeah, life. Well, no life. We, well, have, we don't like, have the backlog of like games or other things, so we like, just go through our you know, mangas. And I could be spoiling like Attack on Titan, but I'm like just doing so much other things. So like, I, and now I can just wait. <laughs> no, till it's not a bad season, thing. So it's like, nah. so like, maybe maybe yeah. like after like a year or two, if I don't hear anything, maybe I'll start reading the manga. But. I think that's the big thing is for me is I have to know like how long do I have to wait and then once I have an idea like is it like a year confirmed or is it like hey you know could be longer then it's like okay I'm, I'm more right. likely that's also why that's also why that's also why like a lot of the manga is like a lot of the mangas I read like turn into anime and then like it's hard to talk to Stratton about it because he didn't read the manga so but, but I, that's, why I, that's why I took break from manga too it's just because like like literally everything I was reading got turned into an anime. So I was like, you know, I'll just calm down for a little bit, wait for like things to catch up, and then oh, yeah. we're, we're reaching the point I now where, that, David. where now it's like now like a lot. There's a lot of like a show that's going on that I didn't read the manga on. So yeah, making pros manga and again. cons. Pros and cons. I was wondering. Yeah, yeah we still have like uh, was it? I think twenty episodes. This yeah, we have twenty episodes, so we 20? still have a ways to go. Wow, I thought it was 20... like twelve. Or, I thought it was like twelve or thirteen. Oh, we at twenty. Oh. Wow. Okay. I am interested in a long run. Yep. Then. Yep. So we have plenty more to work with. So we'll see. That's why there's good, so much things good. in LP. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it I makes like, sense. I was like, that was like, that's a lot of things to do in just full episodes. I still do hope. I mean, I really like Utada's song, but I like. I always get very excited with like all anime, but like to listen to the opening and ending songs. And uh, I would like just to see if there's another song. Maybe you tied it to another one. I mean, I mean, Demon Slayer. I could definitely had the use same a song for 26 episodes. That's true. Yeah. It, it is Utada. But uh, what were you yeah, saying, yeah. Justin? I could definitely want a new ending song. The ending song definitely feels very just like phoned in. There's nothing yeah, really special about it. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, I, I there's a good there's a chance that I may actually read it as well, even though I think it's just going to be you know sad and depressing. But we'll see. I'm not gonna read it, you know, while the anime is going. Absolutely not. I mean, afterwards. Ch- shout out to yeah. the manga author too. Good follow up to Silent Voice. So yeah, I know. Yeah, two, two bangers Knows in a row how right to here. Pull yeah. out them hard strings. <laughs> right, no, right. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have the the coup mentality yet. I'm not gonna jump ship from somebody's death. Not like our. Uh, I think ours are, is it our next show we're talking about? Yes, our next show. Oh, okay. Maybe possibly right, jump okay. jumping let's end, ship. Let's end to your journey right here. Let's move on. To our next show, let's talk about Tokyo Avengers. God damn it, Justin! What? Is, I swear to God, dude! I swear to God, how can you do this to me, man? How can you do this to me? I don't know, man. Dude, I swear, if that guy doesn't show me life, <laughs> I'm ending the life of this show. Riots <laughs> will be had, sir. Riots. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna pull a coup. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have to kind of reluctantly agree <laughs> with this, like. Yeah, join the dark side. Well, I the welcome thing, all, dude. The thing is, like. I, I, I'm just gonna say, Justin, I hate this MC, dude. Like, I hate this MC more than I do Subaru. Yeah, he's pretty like, terrible. I think I am actually offended that you compared that. him to Subaru. Like, like, like I, I'm, I'm still hoping like a redemption. In this guy basically somehow redeems himself in the future. Like, I just want this guy to be a badass. I'm tired of this guy just like wallowing in his losses, and just crying, <laughs> yelling, basically just yelling into the sky, oh, no. just wondering, oh, where is he? Where is he? And then just getting hit by bodies left and right, and just getting fallen. Yeah. I'm just thinking, oh my god, dude, See, this guy was given a. Uh, uh, he's giving Shinji from Evangelion, you know, a run for okay, his money like, for oh, Shinji 
Also, he had the defense of being a little kid, though. Like this guy is a grown ass yeah. man in well, his body. Like, like to, to be fair, though, like to, I mean, I I totally get I totally get your guys' criticism for, but to be fair, like the physical part, like he's still like he's four, he's a fourteen year old body. He's not really strong either. So I I totally yeah, I, I, so I can give him advantage out for that. It's just it's just like the me? mental part when him being naive is what what bothers me more. Yeah, that's the issue. He's talking yeah. oh, such yeah, a sure. big game of things will be different. I'm you know gonna save everybody. That's my goal. And then to your guys' point, I, you know when right. when you know the time comes, what is the man doing? Oh, he's tripping. No oh, he's he's down on his face again. You no know. Plan. Oh. I'm gonna save Drak just... in, and then I'm gonna see Q's healing me, so just walk away with a knife. Yeah. I just feel like he's kind of an idiot. Like, after like, yes. he thought he solved everything oh, with August is. 3rd, and then Hina asks him, Oh, do you want to hang out on August 3rd? And he's like, Yeah, I solved this problem for sure. I'm not needed anywhere else. Like, full confidence. Like, that was just the most idiotic thing I've ever. Like, I was just like it, angry at that point. And to your point, David, like, I think that. The direction of the show is really what I'm more frustrated sometimes with his with the with the flying bodies running into him and the tripping over everything like that's like almost the direction <laughs> of the show and I'm more frustrated with him because of like his, his how he is mentally I agree with you that was well said yeah. um mm -hmm. although um I don't... like I will Go say ahead. like I'll say like I guess I'm giving him so much like breaks like benefits of doubts here so I'll say like this time like I I can I can like give him the, the doubt like this time because I guess it's like his first running with the major also like event but like if this becomes like a, a consistent thing it's like that's a bigger issue it's like he should know better after like this this incident like if he's not be so naive anymore because this is like this he has to learn mm -hmm. from this so. well uh, well I, I don't know well the thing is we, we've gone over like i feel like like there's been like multiple times where, where we've kind of gone over like his mentality about how like you know he's weak blah blah, blah. like we, we've gone over that and the whole thing is just like he went back in the past to save Draken. So, like let's say if if he if Dragon somehow dies and basically like everything just kind of falls for this guy, it's just like he he really like nothing really happened then. He basically just like he already kind of like we already knew like what he already knew of himself. He's useless, so it's not really proving any kind of point. It's just like it's just it's almost just like like I mean it's just like almost emphasizing what we already knew of him. He's just fucking useless. <laughs> Although oh. I, I gotta I gotta say I think uh, Dragon is gonna die because. I don't think so. Well, well, hear me out because if you really think about it, he did go in a past and he does change things, right? Maybe slight things, but things do change in the future whenever he goes back. And he did kind of solve the main point, right? Uh, essentially, uh, the Toman group should have broken up way before when I guess Pachan got arrested for stabbing a guy. But because uh, uh, you know Takamichi was there, he was able to kind of like bring him back together, mm -hmm. right? So with that being said, Dragon's not really needed to kind of keep Mikey on a like on a path of goodness and righteousness. Oh, I Any, anymore, anymore, because like I said, at the end there, when uh, when uh, was it Mikey was talking to that one guy? Was it Pei? I, I forget what his yeah, name Pei. was. Yeah, Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was like, yeah, you know, Takemichi showed me that you know, uh, like our family is falling apart because we we're fighting, and I don't want that. Like it hurt me so much to be fighting against my own family. So I think. Like he's already changing Mikey Kuhn uh, mm -hmm. to be a good person in the future, and in that sense, I don't think Draken is really needed anymore for that. So maybe that's why he's gonna die. So I was mm -hmm. bringing up for his friend, saying like he's trying, to, like he's saying like, it's useless. But like, um, like Takamichi was never friends with like with with any of them before. So just already mm -hmm. being friends with Mikey is like it's gonna give him an advantage in the future. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's like I think it's like this still it's still an important part to keep track of i don't think it's useless for him just even though he did he's got to fail in like saving draken maybe maybe like he'll keep mikey's spirit up and like Ooh, yeah, that's big maybe i mean you got to figure too we'll like see. a lot of these timelines now are very different exactly as ku said like you know the timeline that we knew takamichi from is like the worst timeline in his mind of you know hina being killed by this gang where he never had any real involvement with them until now all the actions that he's taking and Obviously, with time travel tropes, you know, one small action is a butterfly ripple effect. And, you know, now we're potentially starting to see those things come to fruition. But um, no, I totally agree with the frustrations with Takamichi's characters. I think, again, you know, Takamichi is serving as the vessel of this individual, you know, who can time travel. And this show is much more, I would say, praised for the supporting cast of characters of those that surround Takamichi, and that's where the show really like... shines. 
The and I feel like this episode, did, did, this episode did a really <laughs> great job. Yes, exactly to your point of like the captains coming in and you guys getting that first glimpse of the various captains in Toman. And that like, was fun. Different that was actually fun. <laughs> I think that for me with this show, oh, fine. you all make very good points. I think for me with this show, when this season is over, if I want to continue, I think I'm going to continue it just in manga form. I think there's something about how this show is directed that really doesn't sit well with me. It's weird. Um, yeah. The pacing is odd. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the atmosphere is odd. Um, I Like... For example, like when the two gangs were starting to face off with each other, it just felt like very much like a Twilight movie almost. Like lots of staring, <laughs> like a long pause. Like it just it just felt really dragged out. And it could just be a me thing, totally. But I just don't like it. And I, th I think I'd, I'd just I continue with the manga. I will say those are some of like the iconic panels from the series of like those moments when the two gangs are kind of clashing, like this that we just saw in this episode. Like that is a very iconic panel from the series. But I totally agree with you where like, I think last week's episode, I was saying, like, seeing things animated and especially, you know, to your point, certain of like some of the really jarring comedic breaks that take away from these serious moments. Like, yep. I feel like that's really felt in the animated form where as you read this as a manga, you don't really have that effect. And right. it doesn't take away as strongly from what the show or what the series does really well. Yeah, um, so I, I think that's very valid, you know, if if you really do still like these characters, but like things that are being done from an animation standpoint feel kind of weird, like, definitely give the manga a yeah. shot then. I, I think this is one of the few, like, well, I think this is one of the only shows where I thought, like, I would rather read the manga than watch the anime. I don't know why, like, I just can't. <laughs> yeah, same. It's just, it, it, which is just weird. I, I don't think I've ever really done that. It, it's just, it just, like, the anime just feels fucking weird. I, yeah. I think it's more because I just hate the MC so much at this point. And then you can just time. skip past just, the panels. Can, Every time he, he trips or whines, <laughs> you can just skip right yeah. on past it. Yeah, yeah he can, There's he, a lot he more can, flexibility. Oh, for I, honestly, the, the whole <laughs> thing could easily be redeemed. Somehow Draken survives and this ba this guy becomes a badass. I assume that he becomes badass because, like, how we've already talked about how openings spoil things. He's in, like, their attire. He's in their uniform. And he looks badass. So I, I assume like there's got to be that point at, at at some time, but it's just like you know it's all gonna be wiped yeah. away. Draken's dead. Draken's dead. I'm out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Question, I, was, I was gonna ask you um, when that scene with all the the tall men coming in was that supposed to be one of the parts where that the, the, the manji symbol somewhere? Like, um, I just assume that no, symbol not necessarily. I'd okay. say the only censorship that's still kind of ongoing is just on their uniforms. Yeah, okay. um, oh, but I, it's been a lot better. There's not been anything like really drastic from like a like zoom in on faces or anything to like pull away from the symbol. So I think I they've thought, been doing better I thought in that regard. The, the more cycle lights. I thought it was trying them trying. To, like, oh, hi to block, block, block the signs. But... It, yeah, <laughs> it's just OK. There's this one feeling that it just will never go away for me. It's just basically you just watch a bunch of middle schoolers on bicycles and, or motorcycles <laughs> and stuff. I just. That's the I other just can't thing do that's it, really hard to take away is like, it's... you know, the age that they are, because I won't lie. There's stuff that, you know, non-spoiler oh. that gets involved in. You're just like, how, how old are these guys again? Like, oh, 15? Oh, like, yeah, yeah you, have to, you, have, you, have, you have to suspend okay. belief a little bit. They're in a gang. Yeah. They do what they want, right? The law doesn't know. Uh, this is the game. Like, criminals can, don't follow the law, all right? Dude, like, like, that's, just, that's, just remember not, that. Not even the gang members here in the U.S. have, like, their own bikes they ride up to oh, show at the park. It's so. just so over the top. Did so, you even like, get introduced I, to the... Oh, go ahead, David. I was going to say, no, I'm just saying, I can't imagine this happening in Japan, of all places. Like, Japan's um, not like... It's not like... Uh, like like you know, like a crime-ridden society with yeah, like gang fully members. Lawless, you know. I mean, oh, you, you guys, have, you, 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 you have the both of Zoku, like the the bike, the biker people, but they're not, they're not like actual gang people. <laughs> So. I will say some of the members down the line, it's like so over stylized and hyped, but uh -huh. it's kind of one of the things that make the show, you know, unique in its own regard. And I think, um, you know, yeah. you get a little bit of a piece of that where the character who's like the the covering captain for Mobius, who has, you know, sin and punishment I was tattooed like, on both yeah, of his, like, on his so hands. Oh, yeah. Punishment. Edgy. So edgy. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, such edge. This, this show is such edge lords with their characters. Because yeah. they're all so. 14 and 15. <laughs> I wonder if I was in middle school, like what my thoughts were. I'd be like, holy, I wonder if I would be just like terrified. I was like, holy shit, people like this exist. Oh, or dude, I, I wouldn't fuck with anybody like this. But I was trying to say, like, if I was reading this series as like a 13 or 14 year old, I'd yeah. be like, damn, this fucking badass. Like, yeah, I, I probably would be. Yeah, I probably would agree. And I would not have like nearly as many like uh, uh, not even issues. It's more like just kind of like almost comedy in a Trent's, sense in my mind. Yeah. Trent's definitely the guy who has crosses all over him. Cro cross uh, cross earrings, cross necklace, cross bracelets. Oh, yeah. Cross you like you know what? They, the yeah. over-the-top earrings and hairstyles and, and everything punishment. stick along <laughs> yeah. with this show. Yeah, like, it's going to have a lot of that. Um, but in or terms punish. of a pacing standpoint, um, 
right with this episode ended on chapter 22. And oh. so the series right now, it just actually entered into its final arc. Um, but oh. right now, the latest chapter that just released last week was chapter 208. Oh my god. So we're god. only about, you know, 10%. <laughs> Are they really gonna, like, make 200 episodes of this anime? I can't imagine. I mean... I you don't know, because... Know, I... Oh, go ahead, Koo, yeah. I feel like he definitely has room to grow, and I feel like I don't know why I'm such a uh, like uh, I have such a thing for Catalyst. But if Dragon really does die, I hope that this would uh, help promote Takamichi's growth. Oh and no, make I'm, him with, a more I'm with you viable too. MC. Cool. Like I totally get you. So, so like you guys said, hopefully he definitely becomes one of the leaders of this, the Toman group. Like this, and is my, he just, becomes badass. Hopefully. I just don't feel Takamichi is like it's like uh, that close to Mikey at all. Like I, I think it's basically just Draken and Mikey. I think those two are like they're, they're so close, and it's it's like and then the MC is just way too new to this group. I mean, that, I, I don't know. I mean, but then again, they do get they, you know, they, they ended the feud by having a piece of shit on the MC's head. So I don't know. <laughs> I really like, don't know. Yeah. Like, I mean, going back to Ku's point, it's like yeah, that's why like, this is like my one chance for for Takamichi. Like he has to. Like he has to learn from this. You can't like use excuse. I can't give him the excuse of being naive anymore. Even though it's already right, like I'm already giving him enough of a break for being a 25 year old. But yeah, I don't know. So many episodes. Yeah. I'll definitely be interested to see how sales for the anime does because I feel like this is one of those series that I'm you said sure, you know. Yeah, you I'm guys... sure the sale the sale got a huge increase because of the anime. The yeah, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, well, I guess I would be more interested of like what got this the ability to be animated in the first place because if you know for it to be I animated think... i would have expected the manga to sell really well but now if you're saying david like the anime now has helped boost the manga sales a lot because i was looking at like the most bought mangas of like the 2021 i think like um uh, demon slayer jiu -Jitsu what's, what's... AOT. <laughs> but, but yes. tokyo revengers is up there too like it's in the oh, top i mean like, well that's five as well or top well, ten. that's what anime originally is for it's to help sell source material so that's why we usually never get a second season because they're, they're, they're so selling. that's why i'm saying like i i wouldn't be surprised just because kind of the feedback you know from your guys and here of like i don't know it could i could very well not get more seasons I wouldn't well, be surprised. The thing well, is, Tokyo okay, Revengers on on anime list still has like a it's it's still like, they they haven't like announced how many episodes are going to be this season yet. I think Crunchyroll is one of the production committee is on the production committee, so maybe that's why it might get more. Because kind of like oh, how like how like uh, Shield Hero was like was this guy got a huge push by Crunchyroll. That's, that's how they got the second mm. third season already announced. So, so if, if Crunchyroll is part of the production committee, they could be the ones pushing for the streaming rights. And like, and streaming rights is so important right now in like in anime because like this domestic industry is like is just stagnant or declining. So like, and there's like well the 2020 there's like a 2020 report where like streaming, I think it's like over 50 percent of revenue in the anime industry now, or or overseas mm -hmm. revenue is like 50 percent. So they can't. So so I can definitely see like yeah like, like if control is part of the production community like they'll be the ones that order more episodes. Yeah, keep it going. It's probably Makes why the sense. anime just that's why the anime probably just feels so off because Crunchyroll's blind. <laughs> I guess. I have a strong feeling it will get a second season though. It's, it's I think it will it's, too. I think it's too good. Keep going. Yeah. I, I think, think it's, it's too good. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. I think I think this first is gonna at least be like twenty four. I think episodes. also I I have feeling yeah. I think I have a feeling it's the same with to your attorney. I think Crunchyroll is also a production committee. I think I remember oh, really? like I think they they push those two series a lot, so I'm pretty sure they're they're part of the production committee of getting those. Oh. So I can see them Boom. both like going longs for for the streaming like rights. Well, never mind then. So I'm not uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I, I have a feeling. So I need to look it up afterwards. No, but but uh, I, I think I'm done. I mean, basically, like if if Draken dies and basically this this MC like didn't learn anything about what he keeps constantly saying, like man, if I just fuck the show. I, I feel bad because I feel like I'm setting the trend for rage quitting animes now. <laughs> Normally not, but but the thing is, like, I, I think Draken's such like a heart, like a like a such like a like a like a good presence for me for this show. Mm -hmm. That it's just like, I mean, because Dra Draken and Mikey are really like my like two favorite characters of the show. I just, right, I, just right. I just feel more bad for Justin. It just sounds like every week we're just shitting on his favorite manga, and so well, no, I think I fair, think Justin, if anything, like it's completely fair. It is something to you know what Taylor like, discussed earlier. I, of, like I'm really the enjoyable. manga. I, uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, like out of all of us, I think I'm enjoying it the most. But like, I I also like feel like I'm just nitpicking or bashing it a lot every week. I first feel like, 
like I don't really feel like this negative towards I I really enjoy the series overall. So yeah. But Justin did say though that, that the beginning of the show is going to be like slow. But sorry, Justin, go ahead. <laughs> that's no, all no, I no, no. Say. Like that's the thing, and it's like even for me, like when I started with the manga, like I had a lot of chapters to work with, so it wasn't like I was waiting week over week. And honestly, I didn't even look at you know what the uh, perception was of you know those who were reading the manga week over week. Did they have the same thoughts about Takamichi as a character, and were they just like originally frustrated with? you know, his original development. So I, I think if anything, I'm even a little bit biased because, you know, I didn't come into the manga reading it each week, waiting each week. I was able oh, to read like 150 gotcha. chapters, you know, all in one sitting. That would help. So, yeah. The right? benefit of binging. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, binge life, baby. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. I, I definitely agree with you, Sred, and I think they'll probably get 24. The fact that they haven't released uh, the numbers a confirmed yet. number yeah. yet. It's gotta be. Um, but yeah, I'll be interested with the studio too, because I didn't know much from the studio that's doing this animation. I've seen they've done man, I quiver when I see this. They did Ber- Berserk. <laughs> oh, and Wait, which another, one? Which one? Ooh. The, the bad ones. 2016? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. They've done uh, yeah, they uh, they're I'm looking through like all the shows that they've done. But anyways, I don't want to go on too far on tangent. So I'll be even yeah. interested to see if like they st- decide to stay with this animation studio i feel like they almost mm-hmm. have to if they're going to do 24 episodes because it'd be very jarring to switch but could mm-hmm. always change it after we'll see yeah, there's always a possibility yeah. of it changing but, after it but but i don't think the studio does a lot of i don't know anyways we'll see i got nothing else so yeah. we're in we're in that different of revengers i'm gonna go because a little, little tangent because i just i just remember because when when justin mentioned berserk and i think about cgi like oh there's that one piece of news that I probably mentioned on uh, how Kadokawa in how before in their their uh their financial report how they want for they want forty an increase of forty t- anime titles per year plus they want a new three D studio. Well, they just announced the three D studio with the uh, with uh the I think the president from the guy who did Sidonia. So oh well, that, okay that just reminded me of that. I've never like, watched Sidonia, so I don't know, I actually enjoy the first season. So I didn't watch the second one though, but. How dare that, you? That reminded me, yeah, like how, like yeah. Uh, Kyle, well, I mean, Kyle, I, th- they, I think they wanted, week... and, it's, and now, it, now it's here. So yeah, the CG is honestly pretty bad in Revengers. This week we really saw it with the massive gang fight when they were just like showing all the gang members fighting. <laughs> it was it was pretty bad. <laughs> you had like some people just like they were repeating the animation when like Takamichi was literally laying in the puddle. But anyways, I think <laughs> we've gone long enough for for Revengers. Oh, that's it for Tokyo Revengers. Let's talk about My Hero Academia. Finally, man, this the show hitting the stride. The Deku <laughs> they show. should have started out this way. It only took twelve That's episodes. What I'm <laughs> it only took twelve episodes, baby. Uh, but oh god, Mega Man. I was Mega wrong Man. though. Deku has become Mega Man now. So. I, I was wrong. I thought everything was going to be even. I thought I thought uh you know uh, um Shinzo was go- Shinzo's team was going to win. I was wrong. It was actually easier than I would have expected. I don't for me like I don't know why I I really enjoyed this fight of all the fights. Oh yeah, just, same. Like, I've always seen it. like it was really weird. Like I don't know what was about it this this episode. So like this yeah, is Mineta, this is, like, this is the one that, that that really captivated me the most. Like Mineta, we saw like you know, he can kind of be a beast. Uh, Ashido was a beast, mm-hmm. and then also Uraka was you know using her uh, her uh, gun metal arts or whatever they were called. I can never take those that. seriously because she has to say, you know, the name of the move yeah. like, as she's pulling it off. <laughs> well, every time, too, that she's used it, she always looks like she goes into like a trance. Like, basically, it's like almost like PT, like, you know, PTSD reactions where it's just like all of a sudden she just snaps into it and just hey. destroys anybody. <laughs> hey, that's muscle memory, man. You can't knock muscle it. Memory. Muscle memory. Yeah. Muscle memory. There we go. That's all I it like, is. That, that's like part that of the training. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I got I to gotta disagree with you guys. I think the best fight was the one with Bakugo, the one before this. Because it was so clean and it definitely showed um that one of the like the main supporting characters definitely grew and is definitely a lot more reliable now. So is Bakugo a really supporting character though? He's I mean he's not Deku, so I, I, you know. I, I mean right? I, 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 for me the main characters is Deku, Bakugo and and Todoroki. So I can see him. They keep nursing Todoroki man. Such a they, bullshit. they are, yeah it's kinda of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, I don't know. Yeah. But my favorite moment of this episode though, was actually when Deku was able to pull out those uh those the, black the tentacle whip. yeah the black whip. Like I, I thought that moment that was actually pretty sick, even though it you know it didn't last for very long. But then again, 
it was it was believable because it was his first time like attempting to use it and uh he was able to use it briefly before it went out so i thought that was actually really good uh, i'm uh, i'm also just uh i'm actually really happy for like shinzo as well like shinzo's be- he's, he's, he's pretty awesome this is just his character oh. and also like him him wanting to be a hero so bad mm-hmm. uh just like where i think like uh of a lot of like the supporting characters i think they actually have him flushed up pretty well or I just feel like they've actually done like uh like mo- they they've done better with him than actually the majority of like are the the main side cat or uh, side characters of like the hero course. I mean, he's definitely more useful than the Invisible Girl, but I I still stand by my point that he's too niche, like his oh, his quirk. Dude, he's gonna get better. Dude, he's 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 like he's Aizawa's I mean, son. Yeah, they had <laughs> he's to, going they, to get better. <laughs> they had to give Aizawa's oh, okay. power basically to right. him to make him better. So I agree with you in that regard, Ku. Like. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. I don't like, know. They, I mean, I know you guys want to like him, but there's too much against him. I feel like so. Nah, he, he. I think he'll eventually get to that almost that Aizawa level, you know. But he, it's just you know, it's just he's just baby baby form right now. It'll it'll improve because mm-hmm. like Aizawa says, like he's he's not he's not gonna waste time on something he doesn't feel like it. You know, it's uh, exactly or whatever he said, but that mm-hmm. was actually really good at the time that I can't remember. <laughs> true, true. But it, it's I don't know. Uh. uh I'm trying to remember what happened if they showed anything in the preview. I don't remember anything though. Oh, I've yeah. stopped watching the previews due to okay. Spoilers. Anyway, yeah, we are, we, okay. Right, I think so you're the one who watched the previews, sir. I do, and I don't remember what I saw. I Recap episode, man, them. because you forgot everything you saw. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, <laughs> no, let's hope. God. God. Please, please, God, no. They finally finished the turn. Uh, the the, the hey, school if you tournament. Just forgot arc. the six fights that happened. Here's a recap <laughs> yeah. with Deku over it. This, Justin, this would be a a perfect point I to would. do that too. I would. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm hoping not because yeah, please well, don't. I, I nobody, need, nobody needs that. Because <laughs> what did I say, Taylor? Like this episode, where did I say we were four or five minutes in before we started the episode? I think. Yeah, like, something yeah. like that. Yeah, it was it was bad. It, it you was get like, the recap. Yeah. You get the yeah. minute thirty opening song yeah. and skipped it all. Loved it. <laughs> I think they're having a hard time like getting the chapters to mix neatly into a season. I think that's mm-hmm. maybe part of why it's like that. So yeah. I can see that. But uh, overall, I mean, I thought this uh, it was a good it was a good ending to the arc or to the, the fight, I guess. And, uh, you know, looking forward to finally the, the next part. I am done which with I this. Don't, which I don't expect to <laughs> I don't expect to happen for another two episodes. So, yeah, next episode, I can't see it. it's more kind of like be like the fallout or not the fallout, but like the kind of like the the ending to this. Then also setting up then the do we think it's going to be the the League of Villains yet? Or do we think it's gonna be something else? Hopefully, they at least like get back to Hawks and like him trying to supposedly be like a double agent. Mm-hmm. Like the only thing they ain't shown us this whole season. So, yeah. yeah. They did. Didn't they mention? Oh, actually, never mind. That may have been the preview. So I won't say. I'll, I'll wait till next week before I say what I was about to say. Hey, maybe there's a time skip, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> now that they know what they're gonna like, what they need to work on, they're gonna do a time skip one year in the future, and then the League of Villains appear. Oh God, yeah. I don't know. I still think League of Villains are trash, but anyway, they need to bring out the uh, All for One's right hand, like man, like that group. I, they, I feel like they need to bring that out for, uh, for us to get interested in like the villain side of the story now. Right. I, I forgot. Uh, your guy David was he was able, he was able to bluff uh, um, Deku's uh, um, quirk, but wasn't able to use it. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that. I don't. I don't remember. I yeah, mean, he was I basically able to use the quirk, I, and then I just like his attitude. I just don't, don't really care much about yeah. anything else. But yeah, he Ugh. had like a full calling going on. But then Deku, <laughs> Deku was basically saying that, like, like you have no idea what you're about to do. But then you find out that he couldn't actually use it. Uh, it was just kind of like almost like a bluff. Or no, no, he said it was a blank. It was a blank. Or, yeah. yeah, it was a blank. So it, he he meant to use it, but he couldn't do it. Also, the double head ability is just fucking stupid. Anyway, uh, we talked about it last week, so I won't go into it. <laughs> Uh, that's I all that's I have. It. Yeah, I think that's it for this. I probably should this stop. Episode yeah, I... of My Hero Academia. So... We'll have more next week when yeah. we actually finally are out of this. Guys, it's so sad. It's it was so hype, but this is how we're ending it. This is how we're ending the arc. I mean, that's I that's, that's the problem. We have twelve episodes getting here. So. Well, that's what happens when you. It's just kind of like a fight. We kind of already talked about uh, last week about how you know he talked to the whip guy. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked about you know Shinzo. Um, like his kind of character development. I think, like, besides Deku, I think Shinzo was like the secondary and Bakugo as well. But I think I thought they all had like really good character development in a sense. 
of uh you know you know actually you know playing as like a team member for Bakugo. Shinzo mm-hmm. basically just wanting to become a hero and getting that much closer, and then Deku learning more about his quirk or quirks. I should say See, the thing. The thing that bothers me the most is that I love how they introduce Deku and they're giving him these new powers, right? Giving him more, uh, more things to work with to be interesting, keeping him fresh. But Here's with how the they've been, with how they've been doing the pacing of the story, I'm afraid that they'll probably just showcase maybe one, two more superpowers, if even two, and then that's how they're going to end the season. And then oh, the season, uh, okay. Yeah, and then hopefully the next season comes soon. But if you got like eight, nine other quirks hidden inside you and you still have to master a uh, one for all and you have to learn how to master controlling your heart to do all these other moves, uh, it, it makes me worried as to how they're going to pace his development. And I guess with the uh, with the knowledge that he has these other quirks inside of him, I, I can now see how he became the best, like the number one hero yeah, in the world no, right? in the future. <laughs> yeah. So well, I mean, uh, I'm excited but worried at the same time. Hey, I mean, long running shonen, long there's running plenty shonen, of time. Long running shonen, even though it's in the final arc, but like, but well, we'll see. This is this is what yeah. this is what yeah. long running shonens are meant to do: develop yeah. all like the the eight powers. So exactly, I, I trust. I, I I trust it's gonna go well. Mm, I hope it's so. It's gonna work, man. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe not for us, and not for our us anime only watchers. Probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, based on the opinions of other manga readers, I'm I'm a little worried, but I I, I guess I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. In time, it'll all be animated. It'll be fine. It'll just take a long time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Anyway, so yep, that's gonna be it for My Hero Academia. And then, uh, if anyone wants to give any shout outs, now is the time. Honestly, really, the only one I want to know, Ku, is uh, Next Gen Full Dive. Your thoughts on it? Oh my goodness. I uh, I actually really like the show. <laughs> I actually enjoy the show now. I don't know why. Ever since he um, ever since he came back and he was able to figure out like the secret, like the secret promise that he had of his best friend, I feel like the story has has slowly gotten better. And uh, with the arc that they're currently on, I, I feel like there's actually purpose like i enjoy the mc i like his motivation i feel like he's starting to slowly redeem himself as a as a person and um you know the, the humor is still there for me and uh i i feel like it's definitely a solid seven but it, you definitely need to have a certain taste to anime for you to enjoy this this, but, is, like, this is like the first time that we're his like the, the the main girl i'm just gonna call her main girl like did something, uh-huh. like because uh, all she's done like up to this point is just give him just terrible information, like basically just terrible information, terrible tips, everything, like, everything mm-hmm. that like she did in this game was just fucking terrible until now. Mm-hmm. Where, um, where I, I actually think like, uh, like a lot of the comedy, I think like the the the, the comedy of the show I thought was really solid at the beginning of it, but I thought mm-hmm. it got really repetitive and really weak towards the end. Whereas mm-hmm. it this the same shit, where it was just like. Her saying just something stupid, basically leading him down to just like just something just terrible, and it just happened to work. Uh-huh. It's uh, it, it like this like like this um, I, I really don't, I don't know. I I think the peak of the show has definitely been when he saved that little girl from the 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 orc or the goblin. Yes, yeah. Apparently um, he has super speed now, like yeah. the Flash, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. But the, basically, I thought that was like the peak. Then I, I think since then it's kind of it's been going it's been downhill. It's uh, it's been I mean, one I'm episode like, since. Yes, so. two. It's been two. It's been two. <laughs> Five, two. <laughs> and it's I, I don't know, like the arc about basically like how when the whole thing is like oh, like the percent chance of passing this one thing is like point point zero one percent. I'm thinking, motherfucker, how many people even get to this arc? Like, there's absolutely no way that that this many people have gone to like have have actually you know killed their best friend, gone th- gone through all the things that he's gone through. And then only have like a chance of like a point one or point zero one percent, you know? No, no. See, that's the thing. Because he went through all that, his chances increased to point zero five. Oh, that's right. So, so most others don't even go through all that. That's why it's point zero one. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty right. sure the 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 uh, the interrogator and the best friend, like the like his his uh, childhood friend girl. It's probably going to come in and save him somehow. But, hopefully. but cool, to get those numbers, though, you would have to have that many people fail to get to those numbers, you know? That's true. That's true. And, and it's just like, there's absolutely no way that many. So anyway, but the statistics, those numbers, I don't take it any, like, I don't, 
basically anytime I hear like you only have a point zero five percent chance of of uh of uh of succeeding in my mind I just hear hundred <laughs> percent or ninety nine percent of succeeding just because that's it that's just the anime logic. You know they say in statistics anime kind of like bumps up the numbers so that kind of makes sense. You know. I uh, yeah about ninety nine point zero was it or no ninety nine point nine eight percent. Yeah, it seems like you've forgotten how plot armor works, and uh, that's yeah. usually what happens when you times that by 0. 0.01. But this so. is so weird, though. Like, you, you know, he's playing an in-game character that has, actually has like his own like backstory and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So, in a sense, like his in-game character has uh, armor or plot armor, but he himself does not really, because we already saw it. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so. uh, but yeah, no. But just like how you mentioned it, because of this new mechanic that's being showed, because he's a fast runner in real life, it's being transferred into the game where he can run super yeah. fast as well. I hope it holds uh, though, because that was just like a brief period of time. So I'm really hoping he just you know learns it or becomes yeah. like an actual ability. Yeah, but uh, again, it it does kind of revitalize the show a little yeah. bit for me, I guess. So well, we'll, we'll see. See. I'm, and I'm also not, I'm also gonna say I did not feel bad for any of those people getting kicked out of that group either for like last episode. They mm-hmm. all deserved it. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yep. Like that that instructor made fuck that guy. <laughs> and I, I legit, I like they look like villains. I thought they were definitely at some point going to just like turn on turn and be villains, but mm-hmm. maybe there's still always a chance. Who knows? But he was yeah. you know balling like a bitch. I will say. Mm-hmm. You never know. Yeah. But it's, you know, still it's it's still. It's still like you said. I would give it a seven. I'm still a solid seven at this point. If you have a certain taste in anime, which True. isn't that common, unfortunately. So yeah, yes, it's different. Anyway, I have a couple shout what... outs. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Unless you were, I was about to interrupt another thought of yours, Trenton. <laughs> nope, I'm good. Um, so just a quick two sentence thing about Bakuten. Pretty sad that it's picking up right as it's ending. It's getting a little bit better. I'm a little bit sad. There was actually a couple of really cute moments that where I felt things, and I feel like just toss out the first entire half of this anime. It's disappointing. Anyway, so that's where Bakuten's at. I think it's probably gonna end off strong and then just be done forever. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then geez. the other show is uh Joran, Princess of Snow and Blood, which um Okay, so my biggest issue, it turns out, with that show in the long run is that, like, there, I feel like there's a lot of historical information going on from that time period in the show that I'm not familiar with. Like, I feel like uh-huh. people who are more familiar mm-hmm. with Japanese history could just pick up on certain things that I'm completely missing and that kind of sidetracked me from the plot. Plus, it's also got, like, a supernatural kind of in-depth political plot line as well. So mm-hmm. I was trying to figure out for the longest time in this show, like, what to focus on and getting kind of confused with stuff. And it's still confusing, it seems like, from what I'm reading from people online. But, like, if you oh. can kind of just, like, sit with that confusion for a while and just, like, take the story as it comes in, it's actually really freaking good. Like, mm-hmm. I would place this, like, mid or higher on my list for for anime that I've liked this season. Like, this last episode, like, I cried. <laughs> it was so Damn. good. And um, I, I feel like the relationships between the characters are really mature and um, a little bit more realistic than what I see in a lot of anime. And it's just I, I, I just would really recommend it for people if they can have a little bit of patience, maybe like read the manga or something to try to understand it better. If you're confused, I think it's really worthwhile. So if you can stand being confused for 12 episodes, it's worth it. Well, some other people might not. I mean, sometimes I get distracted by other stuff. You know what I mean? So, like I, like I said, I was really distracted by the historical part of it. I think that threw me off. So it might be easier for some other people, you know? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like this is one of those shows, you know, that back in the day could really benefit from those translator's notes that they used to mm-hmm. embed into yes. for, like, the historical <laughs> moment to be like, oh, like, okay, small this ass is text box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I gotta pause, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and at least then, like, you know, I don't have to go somewhere else to figure out, you know, what this historical significance yeah. or, like, what name drop they just did. So, yeah. okay. Good so, to know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I definitely enjoy it more than a lot of the other stuff that we talk about each week, so for what it is i feel like i feel like you definitely it's something that you would enjoy if you binge but doing it week to week was probably not a good idea i feel i I probably agree yeah yeah i mean i would say that for most shows but yeah for this one in Mm. particular for sure okay i think that's it for me i think my last shout out i have is actually zombie land saga they they basically they had the second half of the uh the uh the was it the geisha story i'm trying I, i can't remember her name but uh, it was probably my favorite episode they've had of Zombie Land Saga. It had nothing to do with with anything with idols, except at the end they they, they sang like a song. 
But like yeah. you got you got the uh, the second half of her her story, and just basically like uh, like that whole part, and I thought it was so good. I also have a lot of questions that David they may have that I'm, I'm hoping that you uh, just let me know when you pick up the show because this episode I kind of got like where um, they may have kind of given us an idea of how like the zon- like the the zombie stuff kind of happened first. And I kind of, I would would like just like to get your thoughts. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't want to spoil too much, but damn! But this was my favorite episode so yeah, far. Man, I was on the wild, so we'll see. No worries, man. I just I just don't just to wait. I just don't want to spoil it. I could just go to Reddit and look up to see what they think, what they what they say. But uh, no, this was like my favorite. Like her backstory was by far like my favorite part of the show. And, and really, nothing about her story was really that funny. It was actually it was, it was very serious, but it was but it was. Uh, it was really good. Oh, that's all I'm gonna say. It was um, extremely vague, but it was good. <laughs> all right, it's good to know. <laughs> that's all the shoutouts I have. All right. Yeah, I, guess I don't we'll... have any shoutouts. I guess okay. Well, um, there's any here yeah. then. So let's see. That's that's end of the podcast. Thanks everyone for joining us. Thanks audience for being with us this week. Thank you. Yep. And thank, well, thank the panel for joining me. It's always fun having you every week. Of course. No problem. It was nice yeah. to have everybody back. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Our first yeah. They really yes. piecemeal these last few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you guys enjoyed it better without us. Uh, no. So no, man, no. I we always need you. From the people who listened last week, I did terrible with Bakhtin. I completely forgot what it was. And, oh, no, not, not Bakhtin. Uh, Kabadi. Kabadi. Yeah, Kabadi. Kabadi. Oh. I completely forgot and I had to go back mm-hmm. and look at the episode and edit it. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. All you need is Taylor. I'm not necessary. She wasn't here last week. No, no, no. Okay, we need... <laughs> she wasn't. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Wait, I thought she brought her. She set up oh, her. Right. I, I did it. The, I did it the first week, not the second week. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> last week I was solo. It's just oh, the three Lord. of them. Yeah. Uh, right. We made it barely. We made barely it. though. Yeah, 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 it. yeah, it was yep. rough. Great. Props well. to you guys though. Yeah, big props. So, <laughs> so just yeah, quick reminder too, we're still gonna finish weeklies for spring and then change format in summer, but look forward to it. So we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.